the day. Today's not the day to say I have to pee. No. All right. Um, last time, uh, <laughs> we... Uh, <laughs> thank you for that one, Jazz. Um, <laughs> last time, uh, you guys finished the uh, troubles that were in the minds of Quicksilver went to uh, get a good night's sleep at the local uh, inn, the Casadina Cantina, fought the reigning champion of the fight pit out back, and recruited him. Uh, and today is uh, the next morning after waking up uh, in your uh, in the inn. Oh, and Ter- but Tarragon was at their house. I just have them here for now. Hmm. All right. What do you guys do? It's a new morning. Well, um, I guess I'm going to go make sure the cart's ready mm-hmm. for us to go. Because I know we kind of dropped that off with a uh, with somebody. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think you just kind of put it outside of Tarragon's place. That's right. We left it outside of Tarragon's house. Yeah, so it's it's pretty <laughs> safe. <laughs> parents. It's pretty safe there. Um, so, yeah. Um, do you guys need a little bit of a reminder of what you I'll, um, <laughs> I was right. I need to roll for my dot one. Two, one, two, four. <laughs> this explodes one, okay. And I Eat out. my bag of D and D dice and hope it <laughs> cures my woes. Mm. Oh. Mm, uh, the crunch. <laughs> yes. The forbidden crunch. Uh, yes, Tarragon, you did get that. It's only forbidden if you're a coward. Mm-hmm. Oh, I get six. I get four tries. Yeah. Um. Wait, my luck stone? The one you sold to Tarragon's mom. And then I bought it back. Oh, you bought it back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right, gold spot. Are you? Uh, that only gives me to my to my uh, my skill rolls, right? Nothing for attack. Here you go. The luck stone is uh, your saving throws, and um, sorry, and skill, and skill checks that you are proficient with, I believe. Sorry, Tarragon, I forgot that Goals had bought that back. Uh, but you did get the diamond. Um. Okay, so plus one to skill checks and saves. Got it. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, so, yeah. Uh, do you guys remember what you still need to do? Uh, Not at all. Um, uh, we still gotta go uh, check out the um, the excavation uh, that Tarragon went to. Uh, that, and you also need to get yeah. Tarragon will meet up with you. You also need to we get your need reward. To reward as well. <laughs> we get our what? Your reward. Collect our reward. Yeah. Um, his, uh, Carrion was gonna go down there and check. But we never actually got paid. I just forget where we had to go to collect our reward. But yes, uh, you do. Uh, so, where are you guys going? Uh, I guess to collect our reward first. Okay. I just threw the dog outside. Um... Anyway, so yeah, uh, you guys head to the mining company. Uh, yeah, head to Silveria Mining Corporation. Um, so, uh, oh my goodness, what the hell, Jess? I wish I knew. Is that right now or? Yes. Uh. I don't know 
I don't know what to say about that one, Jazz. <laughs> yeah, that I have no clue. Hmm. That's a. That that's may be a factory reset right there. Yeah. Shit. How many shady websites do you go to? I go to the same like three websites. So well, not the whole I... ad blocker, please. <laughs> so I'm guessing you're resetting your computer, Jazz. After D&D, yeah. Okay. Well, um, so you guys get to the the mining corporation, and uh, you are greeted by the the same person who greeted you the first time, the uh, the assistant. And they're like, "Oh, hello. Um, we heard from uh, we heard from the lieutenant that uh, you guys had completed the task, and we were waiting for you, but uh, you didn't show up last night." Yeah, it was a bad night. We uh, we got pretty messed up down there. Um, needed to sleep it off. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's um. Ah, oh, that's understandable, I guess. Um, here, right this way, and he he leads you down the hallway. Um, the same, same similar hallway, and uh, you guys end up to uh, the office of um of Damien Silver and he opens up and he looks and he, he looks a bit uh, groggy as if uh, he didn't go to bed until very late last night. Um, and he looks Oh! Brute. Ariza. Tarragon looks at Ariza and is like, where did you get that bruise? Which bruise? Which, which bruise? Yeah, which one? <laughs> You know, you have any idea how little that narrows it down. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you think that's bad, you see my lung? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, he doesn't. Oh, yeah, Tarragon doesn't know what happened with the fight pit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, I mean, Latreus definitely gave her a shiner, but. But, uh. <laughs> Uh, to be fair, he got ganged up on by a bird and his boss. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Damien looks up, he's like, ah, no, it's, um, it's good to see that you're all here. Um, uh, maybe maybe I shouldn't have uh, waited as long as I did to uh, go to bed. Um, anyway, and uh, he, he gets out a small chest. He sets it on his uh, desk, and then um, he uh, motions to his assistant, who who leaves for a second. And um, he's like, "Well, here, first of all, is the the fifteen hundred gold for you." And um, and then uh, you hear wheels <laughs> as um, busts, not busts, uh, as like torso mannequins get wheeled in with different sets of metal armors. Um, and he's like, and, uh, the, the one set of mithril that, uh, you get to pick out for your reward. And of the different kinds of, there's the, all the different kinds of metal armors, chain mail, scale mail, half plate, plate. Um, you, you guys see the heavier armors and you're just like, <laughs> no, <laughs> I know most of you cannot wear it. <laughs> I mean, it's out for a lot. Um, all right, so this should be 250 gold each. Is that for everybody, including 293, or just that is not including 293? <laughs> including 293 would be 214, <laughs> and then one person gets 215. No, that should count uh, 293 as well because I counted Jacob in the count. You forgot about John. Oh, shit, he's not here. Damn it, yeah. 214 and somebody gets 215. Her. You're correct. Yep, it's it's 214 and then one person gets 215. Whisper looks that extra gold could just go straight to the treasury. Yeah. I kind of want to keep it after that beating you two gave me. <laughs> Whisper looks at Ariza and shrugs. 
Um, and Whisper goes to actually divvy out. He does give you the, the two fit. You do get that extra gold, Latreus. Thank you. And everybody else gets 214 gold. <laughs> um, 303. I'll, I have 303 gold. Woo! I'll send uh, I John. Misread that. I that. said thank you for God. <laughs> thank you for the gold. <laughs> thank you for God. <laughs> thank you, Il Sensine. <laughs> Uh, I'll just send um, John texts of some stuff. Uh, I'll, I'll text it to him. Oh, okay. Um, and two ninety three like nods like thank you. Uh, and he and so you're also left with your decision of what kind of mithril armor you want. And for a reminder, mithril armor negates the stealth disadvantage on any armors that have it. That is the main draw of them. So. Out of character here, I think I've been the worst with stealth rolls lately. Uh, would anyone mind if I take mithril? No. You know what? I think actually I'm gonna pose you. I want that mithril pl No, I'm kidding. Go ahead, take it. <laughs> Tarragon, no, you're good. <laughs> um, I got the need for stealth. Yeah. Honestly, we could give it to Tarragon. He's not the sneakiest person in the room. And I would fact, say, arguably, is the worst at stealth. <laughs> he he does kind of tend to draw attention to himself by I've got, being huh? so large. Tarragon does say. <laughs> Either way. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, 293 is like looking at um, the armors and stuff, and he's just like, hmm. You wear. I mean, we could take. We could take full plate and then put both Tarragon and Ariza in half plate. Ah, uh, that's not quite how it works, but okay. <laughs> um, Look, I man, mean, I don't wear armor. I don't know how any of this works. Hey, does I it feel have like to be all from one set? Like, I feel like if we just got Ariza the pants... No, you, it, you're getting... <laughs> 293 looks... Uh, well, Ariza, if you need some more defenses if you take a half plate it's still you still should be able to wear it and it'll get you to a little more than your scale mail that's true you'd still be able to wear it hold on tarragon is typing <laughs> Oh, Terracon is typing. I said Bosch should take it. I take punches. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> that is true. So, Jacob, just to clarify, is one power. Set? Yeah, it's, it's one side. Okay. Okay, uh, what's uh, set for right. half plate? So, Ryzo, are you going to take it? Yeah. Are you going to do half plate or scale mail? Half plate in game will actually give you a, sev a maximum of 17 AC. Um, my AC is already at 17. Oh. Shit, why? I always forget. Why do you have 17 AC? Fighting style. No, her fighting no. style is the one that gives her the. <laughs> Uh, dex mod to her Wait. damage on her uh, unarmed. We agreed. It was supposed to be a 16, and then I don't think my character sheet saved last time. <laughs> mm hmm. So yes. now it should be up to a 17. Well, I don't remember why it's a 17. Yeah, it should have been a 16 because of the. Because that's no, all. We were talking about this last time, remember? Oh, right. I just. I don't think my character sheet saved last week. Right. Um. So. So yeah, um, um, are you just gonna get mithril version of what you're already wearing then? Um, yeah. Okay, so you'll have your yeah. your mithril scale mail, which means that you do not get disadvantage on stealth anymore. All right. Yay. And um, congratulations. Are you gonna take some time to put it on too? 
Yeah. It will take you. In the you middle of the room? A s it's just armor. Oh. Um, but it will take you a solid couple of minutes to get your armor off that you're wearing and put this new armor on. <laughs> okay. So. I was going to ask, should we look away? <laughs> Tarragon. <laughs> Um, but I, I would say you find, uh, I guess, Ariza, if you wish to, you find a bathroom to change in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Well, clearly somebody has a, a beatboxing career. <laughs> that was my grandma's dog flopping down onto the floor. Ah, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, but yes, uh, so you, you find a bathroom, you change everybody, um, you are, uh, uh, escorted out, left to, to leave, and, uh, on the way out, Damien's like, I will, uh, look towards your, uh, adventuring guild if we have any more issues. Um, and you are left outside of the, um, of the mining cup, uh, company to do what you wish to do next well everybody um i know we said we'd talk about it when we got here and then we didn't talk about it uh are we gonna go see tarragon's um temple where she found ill cells ill sensing uh, uh, uh. Because we said we'd talk about it on the way here, and then we didn't. Uh, Tergan, I'm gonna need a refresher. Did you, is this temple like in the cave or out in the open? Keep in mind, two people had a dream about it. It is probably important. Actually, four people had a dream about it. Um, oh yeah, four people did have a dream about it. It is out in the open. It is in a place out uh, in the mountains. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hmm. And you I do. To check. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, Ariza. No, oh, you're fine. It's just that I kind of wanted to check it out, but <laughs> I mean, not everyone is comfortable checking it out. That's fine too. Well, I know I'm comfortable checking it out, but you know. <laughs> Me, me, goals and El Sensi don't exactly have that connection anymore. So, uh, Tarragon, you do also remember it'll probably take you about half a day to even get there. A little out of the way, it's a half a day. Ping, <laughs> half a day though. <laughs> I mean. We have, we have plenty of rations. Half a day. Megan, you gotta stop. <laughs> um, half a day there, half a day back, makes it a full day. Mm -hmm. Two ninety three looks at uh, Galra and is just and Whisper, who both are just kind or like Whisper is just kind of like I don't want to go. It's like, I mean, we could split the group up for this excursion. I do not think. Whisper Galra and I would mind staying at the fight pit for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Tarragonia, there are still great places to see in town. I tell you what, why don't we split the party evenly? Everybody who's going, take a step to the right. Everybody who's not, take a step to the left. Oh, that's the left free. Oh, you're saying from your position. Okay. Uh, okay. To the right. Do you, do you. So, Ariza, you want you, Ariza, do okay. you want to go? Oh. Yes. Okay. So, Ariza's going. Tarragon, do you want to go? I mean, you would be the guide, so. Yeah. I was gonna say, if you're going, go to the. Or if you're going, go to the right. If you're not going, go to the left. You're kind of backwards, Matthew. I know it's from where your character's pointing, but um, yeah, opposite. I was, yeah. I was, I meant it like 
on the actual map. Yes, if you're, you're going you're... go right to the right. If you're not going, go left. Then why did I you said. why did you go to the left? Because I'm not going. Oh, you're not going. Oh, yeah, like... I'm not going. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I said split right. the party evenly. I'm not gonna go. <laughs> okay. I didn't know. I didn't hear okay. you say I'm not gonna go. That's yeah. Makes sense. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> makes more sense now. Okay. 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 So, so. If, are just the Ryza and Terragon going then? They would be if this is how the split is. Oh. Uh, or, first, uh, oh, do you want to go, uh, yeah. one? No, first, uh, Gara, I pulled out the thing I built last night. Oh, yeah. I, I had it to her say, here, see if you can attach it to your gun. I don't know uh -huh. if it will work. As for Whisper, here. And I put a hat on him. <clears throat> Alrighty. Whisper's just like, eh? Um, and I took it out. Gara, right. you, you have a little, um, it's like a small lantern hanging from your pistol. That is glowing and shining extra light. You have a <laughs> flashlight on your pistol. <laughs> Yay, cool. 293 looks at the parties and is just like, I think this is a fair group split. Yep. All righty. You've got a caster on either side. Mm. Oh, yes. All righty, well, um, I guess we should hang out at the bar, correct? <laughs> that is what... We do in this situation. <laughs> I mean, we could do that, or we could go explore around, check in with Terragon's folks. He kind of looks at Galra. I mean, I kind of want to fight in the pit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could at least check out a few of the fights that are going on. Yeah, I'm I down will. For that. I will fight. <laughs> and he just kind of <laughs> he just kind of turns and walks by himself to the pit. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> All right. I want to see 293 throw down, though. I'll go bet on him. Fuck it. <laughs> um, All right. You want to make some easy money, Kara? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you guys go there. I'm going to roll some uh, three things, and then I'll, uh, we'll see how he does after. It's uh, D20 plus his strength, right? Oh, my God. Um, All righty. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so we'll start with the party who is uh, heading to the temple. Um, <laughs> Tarragon leads the two of you north to this massive wall that has been built alongside the mountain range. There's a little bit that is, you know, it takes a little bit to get through because of, like, the incline and stuff, but you see this, and uh, Horizon Goals, you know about this wall, but it's the first time either of you have ever seen it. It is this... Um, the wall that connects the great gilded gate across the mountains, a wall that has been built for centuries, blocking the mountain range off across the, um, uh, across the entire continent. Um, every so often you do see guards and soldiers walking along the top of it. Um, but Tarragon leads you to this position that they found, and there is a hole lower down in the wall, big enough for Terragon to fit, to just squeeze through. The rest of you can get through, uh, no problem. Um. <laughs> Still looks the same. Uh, Terragon, you know that, uh, you know the guards route because you like to explore past this place a lot <laughs> since nobody really has gone into these mountains. <laughs> They're not a problem. Um, so yes, you, um, you squeeze through and you continue heading through into the mountains. And Tarragon leads you on this path that's actually fairly open. Like, the mountains just kind of had this perfect way that they were made so that there's a slight path. And then before um, too long, once you get... It starts, you know, getting around half the day kind of thing. Uh, you find an old, broken-up staircase leading up into the left. 
Um, can I roll investigation to see if I recognize the architecture? Uh, sure. Would I be in investigation or history? I'd say either or. I'm going to do history because the stone lock actually applies there. And uh, Tarragon, this is the uh, staircase, you are correct. You're, you're, it, it, less overgrown, more withered. There is some growth, but it's not crazy. This is more mountainous, um, like craggy mountain. Um, so it's like any kind of overgrowth is like shrub bush, like scrub bush kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so, uh, goals, you go to, to research it. Or look at it, and you're looking at the stonework of this, and you're you're a little confused because it somewhat feels like dwarvish. It somewhat feels like elvish, but it's kind of like not quite there. Like you can see that there's both of those people's craftsmanship in these stairs, but they're not quite correct. And uh, the three of you, uh, do you head up the stairs? Yes. Okay. The three of you go up the stairs, uh, traveling a decent distance. Your 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 calves are screaming at you <laughs> for going up these stairs, and um, you eventually reach the top, and it's this sheer flat carved out location with a somewhat broken pedestal and four columns on each corner that the tops now I wouldn't say just the tops but like the um <laughs> the there there were once columns I should say you can see remnants of columns at the four corners Any ruins or language? Oh no, that would be in the buy. I would say I would say roll an investigation check if you are looking for uh, runes or languages or okay. any kinds Maybe of carving. Uh, the lock, since I'm not proficient, the lockstone doesn't apply here, right? Yes, because you're not proficient. Okay. Uh, Ariza, yes, go ahead and you can uh, investigate the altar as well, Ariza. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, interesting. Um, so, goals. You're you're kind of investigating the the ground floor, looking for for runes, and you you realize something about the carved floor is that it's not perfectly flat. There is some very very light carvings in the ground, as if. Time has eroded it away so much that there's a very light indentation across the ground. Uh, Ariza, at the uh, at the pedestal, you, you don't really find too much, but you definitely find a spot where Phantomite could easily fit in. Um, it fits perfectly. It just sits there. Goals, do you do anything with the light, trying to find, figure out what that light carving on the ground? Yeah, I, I want to see what the shape of it is. Okay, uh, I need you to roll me... I can just roll me a flat intelligence check. Ariza, you have a dumb idea? <sighs> okay. I'm gonna draw the shape that you build. Next to you guys. Uh, where are we? 
up north. Oh, I see. It's something like this. <laughs> is what you're able to come across with that. Is the tip where the little sensing will go? Oh, that is where the pedestal is uh, at, yes, at the top. Uh, Ariza, you cut your... You, you, you poke your hand and bleed on uh, the crystal, and the blood just kind of drips down it and down the pedestal, and nothing really happens. You take one point of damage. <laughs> oh, Henry's got the zoomies. <laughs> Um, but yes, this is what, this is what's here. Um, is the stone too withered to, or too old to tell that it was stained, stained with blood or from some kind of ritual? It's, it's way, way too old. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Terragon just go puts a cloth over Ryza's hand. <laughs> I go to look closer at the tips. Mm-hmm. Does uh, do I see anything there, or do I roll for that? Um. You do see that the, the bottom two tips point towards the two cornered columns. And then as you look at the other two, you definitely see that there were more columns, the column-like things that, like there's remnants of them where the, uh, the outside two are. Okay, so on the tips there used to be columns. But... Yeah. Neat. I asked Theragun, so what did you fi found in Celtic originally? Oh, do you say where you found him originally? Mm -hmm. uh, you can see where Ariza and Terragon at is this pedestal where Ariza had put their Phantomite in. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, Terragon also found a couple of skulls to sell at the shop, but nothing else compared to Phantomite. Or, yeah. So you just saw Phantomite in the pedestal and grabbed it. Yup. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Excuse me. Can Welcome I roll back. history for that? Yes, you can. <laughs> you remember it is what Terragon said in the mine when Terragon's crystal absorbed the heart of the big red toad creature. Terragon, yeah. I don't think we would find much here, but I thought you guys would like to see it and where it was. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Uh, Tarragon, what you remember from what you know is that it is a name from of a deep speech, of the language deep speech.
sorry, I had to go, um, had to go dry the dog. Um, anyway, so goals, you're gonna, uh, knock on, like a noun, like a name, not a noun. Uh. Yeah, like the whole, just have my ear close to the ground. Okay, uh, I want you to, uh, roll me a constitution check when you knock. Just a straight constitution, because I'm using it as, like, the spellcasting concentration. Okay, this doesn't gonna have to save? No, it's just a check. Okay. You knock and you, you listen really hard, and this is like thick rock, thick earth. And, but, you kind of get a little bit of something. Maybe some echoing the pedestal. Oh. Under something in that direction. Hey, Tarragon, are there any mines nearby here, or do you know if they go through here? Uh, Tarragon, from what you would know, that, like, don't really go this direction. I think there might be an underground temple, if I'm right. <laughs> Ariza, that is an interesting connection there. Goals, do you go over to investigate the um, the pedestal? Sure. Wait, underground what now? <laughs> go ahead and investigate. Use investigation on the pedestal if you wish. You can kind of see some... Mm. Tarragon, do you want me to break the pedestal? Uh, you kind of. Now, if I was gonna ask, I was gonna ask you if you're sensing with mine. Oh. Okay, you're gonna ask. You ask that uh, to Tarragon. Okay. Uh. So he's going to answer to Tarragon. Um, so yeah, uh, Tarragon, if you want to... So roll... I would roll an attack, uh, a strength attack with your mace on the pedestal, if you wish. Well, a good thing it's an object, and objects have usually a DC of 10. Uh, you, or an AC of 10, you hit the pedestal with your mace, and you shatter a chunk of it. And you look, and you see that there's a, a glint of something purple in the center of, of, the, of the pedestal. Hit it again! Hit it again! Oh, uh, you'll need to hit it again. It is embedded. It is just mostly stone. It's just that you broke a chunk off. Oh, you hit it with force this time. And, uh, you break the rest of it, and you notice that from the center, where there is a hole in the pedestal at the top, there is a purple crystal sticking out of the ground. As if it was growing through the center of the pedestal. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. It is stuck. Can I use molt earth on it without touching it? Uh, around. around it? Yeah, you could. Uh, Ariza, you you touch, you touch the the crystal, and you feel 
There's nothing new because you have a Phantomite, but you feel that weird connection like you did with Phantomite. So how are you going to mold Earth around it, Juan? What's your idea? So, as the way you describe it, it's, it's where the pedestal would have been, right? Yes. So I'm going to soften out the... Without touching it, I'm going to soften out the ground around it, so... Okay. Hopefully, they're gonna, or right, they can pull it out. Um, so you do that. Uh, but first of all, um, uh, Ariza, you touch the Phantomite to the crystal. There is no reaction. Uh, uh, so yeah, uh, so Ariza, as you do that, you realize the earth starts to mold around you and you, you kind of back up and you, you make the ground soft and soft, and you're trying to move it, and you see that under that just one poking crystal spike is that there's a bigger crystal underneath. Oh, and the more you mold the earth around it, the bigger the crystal gets. There we go. We might need help to dig this up. Do you want to cast Mold to Earth again to try to make, uh, to open it up even more? Can I roll Intuition to see if I feel like the crystal's gonna be as big as this altar? I mean... Uh, roll Insight, yeah. Uh, but Terragon's... Uh, it's just like, it's a, it's a holy crystal depository is what El Sensing says. Okay, Insight is plus one. We should have saucers. Mm -hmm. Got the right now, but she got the gold green eyes. Yeah. Something new to me. From a crystal like this, you probably it's don't okay. think it's as big as the whole thing, but because it doesn't, it doesn't really look like you start with the first mold earth. You definitely see some of the rough edges of the spikes that are left. Like the the ends of the the size of it. Well, Terrigan, do you want to keep digging it up? Yes, this has been growing here over time. Do I want to just keep that? Yes. Um, I don't know how to answer that. Uh, yeah, Goals is definitely asking, do you guys want to keep digging this crystal up? Y'all fucking digging in there? Yeah, they are. <laughs> Y'all digging up crystals and shit? <laughs> yep. Y'all trying to free this motherfucker right now? <laughs> don't worry, I got a contingency plan. Yeah, what's that? Blowing it up? I don't think that works against Elder Gods. <laughs> don't tell Goals what to think. Don't tell Goals what to think! I love it. Okay, I don't know what we what use it would be though. That's a good question. That's a good thought. I gotta ask, um, or how we'd carry it. How close is everyone to this crystal right now? Those two are digging. I'm out of the way. Very close. Real fucking close. Oh, oh. you're standing there. Meanwhile. You're you're standing there and. Goals uh, finishes that first Mold Earth spell, and you guys have been kind of walking around, and you feel a shift in the crystal as it sinks a little further down. Back at the cantina. Back at the cantina. Hey. Um, 
You guys watch. How much did you bet on 293? <laughs> I'm going to bet, like, I'll bet, uh, let's see, I have 303 gold. I'll bet, I'll bet 100 gold on him. Put 40 gold on him. Money's scarce. <laughs> so, so th how much did you bet, Matthew? I bet 100. Uh, Sienna bet 40. All righty. Okay, so it is 140 gold to a pot of uh, 280 gold um, against. And um, I rolled this earlier, but at, you see as he gets in there, you see another, you see like a buff half-orc dude. An, like another, like the one who, <laughs> I think it was a half-orc, but... Uh, yeah, it was. No, yeah. it was a full-on orc. Oh, it was full-on orc. Okay, so it, it's a half-orc, like, buff mining guy wearing overalls and, like, kind of a black-stained white shirt because of his mining, and he, like, cracks his knuckle, and he's, and he's just like, Really? The heck is this thing? And he looks, I am here to fight you. Uh, and, um, he's like, fine. And <laughs> 293 gets punched directly in the face and does not move from the hit. And the guy's like, what is this? And you just see, oh. <laughs> you just see the two arms of 293 grab this dude's shoulders as he reels back and just headbutts him with full force, dazing the half-orc. Woo, yeah! <laughs> um... God. <laughs> and uh and then takes a quick second jab but not at like full force because he didn't he, he wasn't quite sure how hard to hit him so he hits him pretty good kind of knocking him out of his daze and this half orc goes into this fucking relentless bloodthirsty rage and starts wailing on him 293 has his arms up blocking his body um like a like normally a boxer would and just he, he's blocking, like, this barrage of angry half-orc punches. He takes a step. Takes another step back. He has his back against the wall. He sits back. He looks back, looks at the crowd, looks at the two of you. D uh, Grab his dick and twist it! Breaks the barrage of punches by thrusting his arms out. Kicks off the back wall. Hits the half-orc in the face. With the downswing, grabs his leg, slips, pulls him off his feet, and throws him out the arena. Yeah! Oh, whoa! <laughs> all of the other... Oh, it's the metal man, Terragon. All of the other uh, miners lose their shit over this. <laughs> How much did I just win on Terragon? Or on 293? Or on 293. Oops. Uh, give me just a second. 280 plus 140 divided by two. Uh, both of you won 210 gold split between the two of you. 210, so that's 105 each. Yeah. So no, uh, no, you split. that's it's already split between the two of you. Oh, oh, oh. okay. Yeah, you okay, each. So 303 plus 210, that's 515 or 513. Yeah. Okay. As he as as he goes and he cracks his neck and he's like, yes. Victory! Two, nine, three! Two, nine, three! Two, and nine, three! You start chanting, and all the other miners start chanting as well, like, two, nine, three! Two, nine. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, and he, uh, he climbs out of the arena, and is like, huh, oh, your fight inspired me last night, but there was no more other than just that. So, well, uh, had you to know, I'm glad to see you were able to get out of the corner better than I was. <laughs> it is fine. You were at an unfair advantage. I really was. <laughs> like, they, they were bloodthirsty. I, I thought maybe they were still under mind control or something. And I, this was, that was bad. <laughs> one, one of, like, the younger, like, the kids of the minor walks up with a pickaxe. He's like, can you sign it? And he's like, Yes. Of course! <laughs> um, Dude, you're famous! <laughs> and, he, and he grabs, he grabs, um, what does he have? Does he have a small knife on him? Uh, I, I give him, I give him my quill. Uh, he takes the quill and he, he writes, 
his number designation on the pickaxe on the handle of it and the kid just grips it tightly and, and runs off with it and all a bunch of other kids start chasing like we want it <laughs> um i used i used to do this back at home I, i'm used to it <laughs> so that's awesome dude anyway. i'm glad for you we'll get uh, you a quill the uh the owner of the bar is like, ha ha, you, looks like we've got a, a rising champion. Well, it seems our our other champion uh, kind of left town this morning. So uh, our runner up is uh, looking for a scrap. And you see a Goliath walk into the arena. <laughs> oh. Oh, and he, man. And he looks. We ready for it, Galra? Y'all think y'all can take him? Uh. 293 looks at the um at the Goliath and he he you could kind of see like the light like slowly dim kind of but it's more like he's focusing like squinting his eyes I've got this one Okay You, you know what? <laughs> All right. Okay, 293. <laughs> And he steps into the arena and the uh, there's a, a rack of quarter staffs and both of them pick up quarter staffs. It's getting real. All right. I'm, um... What is, what is the current bet right now? The current bet? Let me roll five. Yeah, you, you can always ask about what the bet is before yeah. you bet. Let's roll five. Actually, I'm going to roll three d10s and, uh, on one and then two on the other. So it is... Uh, 170, uh, it is 260 on the Goliath and 170 on 293. Okay. You want to, uh, hey, Gaura, mm. you want to put down 100 on uh, 293, I'll put down 100 on the Goliath. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that way um, we both come out on top. <laughs> I mean, my bet's still on 293, but we did just fall into this money, so it's okay. Yeah, well, whatever, whatever <laughs> we win, we split between the two of us. <laughs> All right. Put it there. <laughs> Shake his hand. Um, Put and, the 100 down on the Goliath. And 100 on 293. The, um, the two of them are going for it. Oh man, this is gonna be stupid. In uh, let's see here. So, okay, ah, that's a low twenty roll for two ninety three starts, and um, he's going off on a like a barrage of hits that aren't really phasing this man. Like a half orc, they would hurt, but this Goliath, he's just kind of standing there. Um, and he prepares his swing and just hits 293 under his chin. <gasps> like, smacks upwards, hit knocking his head. Like, if he had teeth, they would clank together. <laughs> mm. Dang. Um, that would have been a broken jaw. And he shakes his head, and he's just like, okay, that... And, and kind of staggers a bit backwards and steps and slips a bit in the sand... Um, as the Goliath rears up his staff and slams it down on him. Not super hard. He's able to kind of deflect it a bit with his quarter staff and just kind of hit the ground, but not, like, absolutely lose his shit. Um, but 293 is on the ground. Um, and he is struggling to get back up right now as this Goliath is holding him down and he starts wailing on 293. But uh, 293 sitting there, kind of just holding off his defenses, knows that he needs to get up. So he fucking action Grab surges. He fucking action surges and just uh, throws the, like, loses the staff in that barrage of hits, just punches the Goliath square in the dick to get the him off thing, of him. Please. To get him off of him. And takes the quarter staff from the Goliath and starts hitting the Goliath with it. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oops. Uh. That would be the Goliath staggering backwards from the like almost like almost throwing up from the punch in the dick is unable to gain his footing, and two ninety three stops, rears back, and just 
uppercuts the Goliath while he's hold, like while he's hunched forward, knocking him onto the ground, and the Goliath is just sitting there in pain as he cannot gain his footing from the dick punch. Uh, the fight goes to 293. <laughs> he looks, man, that's unfair, but I couldn't do anything else. <laughs> There was a hushed silence from the dick punch. <laughs> ooh! Yeah, it was that. It was just the ooh! Um, was there a popping sound when he did it? Uh, if there was, you wouldn't be able to hear it. <laughs> Squishy. Not even with my passive perception of 14? It's too many, too much. It was too much of an ooh! <laughs> gotcha. Oh, so that is... What I said that hey, is. hey Jacob. Yeah, I would like to. Uh, I would like to subtle casting. Yeah, I'm gonna put. Uh, gonna put haste on the Goliath. <sighs> what? And he... nobody knows I did it because I don't make a sound or motion from it. And the winner goes to. And the Goliath stands up. And there is bloodshot and anger in his eyes. <laughs> you think you're funny. And 293 looks. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> I lean over to Gar and I go, oh, shit. She's like, you're going to get him killed. <laughs> I didn't do anything. And the Goliath, wasting too much time getting up, stalls and haste runs out on him and he just kind of collapses into the ground and 293 is just holding his hands like in front of his face and kind of like oh, oh thank god <laughs> <laughs> it's got like the hands up a train's about to hit you and it just screeches to a halt an inch away <laughs> <gasps> oh thank god <laughs> <laughs> thank god <laughs> and um and it's like, looks like the, the match still goes to 293. And like, if a robot could sweat. <laughs> um, and um, the gold is divided up. <laughs> Gara gets another 210 for their winning. Great. Nice. We both gained five gold from this. Yeah. And... Let's see, five. Yeah. And uh, the cantina owner is just like, it looks like we got a new reign champion, the Metal Man, 293. And 293 is like, yes, but I am also leaving soon, so do not get too attached. <laughs> and, and one of the one of the miners is like, is like, this guy's too fucking humble. <laughs> Beach. Speech! 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 <laughs> and he's just like, I... I have to give it to our champ, to our fighters. Well fought. I do not feel like I earned that one. I punched that poor organic man in the dick. <laughs> but... He does deserve his title as the next number one when I leave after to... Tomorrow, right? We're leaving tomorrow? Yes. yes. I think we're leaving tomorrow. <laughs> yes. But thank you. I appreciate... I'm assuming our friends aren't dead in that uh, tomb. Yes. I, I appreciate the patronage. and uh, They do have our cart, though, so that is inconvenient. I am going <laughs> to nurse my dents. <laughs> As uh, he goes to head to... Uh, you know, Gora, I think that went well. <laughs> All things considered. Yeah. Could have been worse. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go find the Goliath guy. Who is he's on the ground unconscious at this point. <laughs> I'm just gonna drag him over to a chair. You sit him up on a stool that's in the arena. <gasps> yeah. I'm looking for some smelling salts. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, how'd you throw that? I hasted you. <laughs> it looks... Uh, double the speed, double the pain. 
I think. Wow. I think my. Ah, uh, I think I lost one. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Listen, man, I know it won't restore your nut, but um, here's some holy water. <laughs> he just drinks it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> fucking. Oh. Uh, then I'm gonna go back over to the party. Back in the temple, the the crystal shifts in the ground. Arise a tarragon. I need both of you to make me a dexterity saving throw. Alrighty. Tarragon. Ariza, you jump off the crystal in speed Tarragon a little slow. The crystal sinks and falls out from under you. You grab on to the side of the cliff or of the of the uh, platform just barely and you are dangling as the crystal falls into a deep darkness swallowed up by shadow. Ariza, you just lose. You don't even hear the crystal hit the bottom. Tarragon, I need you to roll me an athletics check to pull yourself back up. You can beat... Does anybody want to help Tarragon? Okay, Tarragon, you have advantage on this athletics check. <laughs> As Ariza comes to help you back up. <laughs> uh, roll it again. Okay. Oh. That advantage just saved Tarragon's life, guys. Um, as a, you're able to get pulled up, Ariza helping you pulls you out of the hole. Because there is now just a... There's now like a seven-foot hole in uh, diameter hole in the ground. Juan, you there? Yes. Okay. You see this. Goals. You see this whole thing happen. Damn. Cat. <laughs> it, do I notice anything at the bottom of the hole? You can't see any. It's so dark. Like, with how much light... Like, it's middle of the day. And with the sun highest over, you watch as the crystal gets swallowed into darkness and you haven't heard the uh, thing hit the ground yet. Hey. Ariza, you throw your phantomite into the hole. And it's glowing. It's got that, like, that nice purple glow, and it falls, and it falls, and it falls. And it leaves the sunlight uh, reach into the darkness. And you see a tiny beacon of speck of light as it continues to go. And it starts to shrink until it looks like a star in the night sky before vanishing into the darkness itself. And that's when all of you remember, you're on the top of a mountain. Goals, do you listen? Does anybody just sit and listen? Yeah, I want to see a, if I hear the thing drop to the bottom. That was a seven foot in diameter... Uh, crystal, uh, so roll me perception checks, and if you have advantage from hearing, I think, I think, uh, Loxodons do. So all of you roll me perception checks. And add whatever advantages or disadvantage from hearing, which I don't think anybody has disadvantages. Okay. Tarragon, do Loxodons? Is it just smell for Loxodons? Just smell, okay. Wow, that was really good. You listen. 30 seconds go by. A minute goes by. Two minutes go by. Boop. 
the very, very slight, slightest thud sound goals can hear. And it's been a couple minutes by now. <laughs> so, you guys, do you guys, do you guys have any idea or thoughts on this? <laughs> Tarragon, we could tie a rope and throw. I do. We have even have enough rope. <laughs> Tarragon, with with your with your wisdom on insight, with your passive insight and how far that those crystals fell, you do not have enough rope. I mean, getting down is not um, not the problem. It's surviving the fall. <laughs> well, no, that's not an issue either. Uh oh. I know better fall. Oh. Is it getting back up? Yes. <laughs> Let's go back, Tarragon suggests. Wait! Wait! <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do you have, Tarragon? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I just saw the meme Tara, uh, made her to put in the Discord. If you have saved our lives, we are eternally grateful. I'm afraid we should cover the hole, or who knows what could come out of it. That's fair. Doesn't it doesn't know what's in the hole? Hmm. Doesn't Il Sensei know what's in the hole is what uh, Juan asked. See if there's anything to cover the hole up with. I mean, there's there's the um, the leftover pieces of um, columns that used to be there that you could probably fit over the hole, but they're really heavy, being made of pure stone. Uh, yeah, if you're going to try, I would do a strength check. It does not budge at all. It just... You, you, realize, you start to push and you realize... There's a reason why this thing lasted as long as it did even, like, less than half its size. So we definitely want to keep this plugged up then. Mm -hmm. Anyone know aberrant beings is what Tarragon says? Nope. But I can web the whole shot. <laughs> don't you? St oh, did you? You still have mold earth, don't you? Uh, the way I read it, I don't think it would work. Ah. Because it's a hole that I would have to plug up. Yeah, I mean, you could probably use the pieces of column, but. Still don't know what that means. <laughs> That's funny. Like, like I said, I know the spell web. And if there is something down there, all I would do would be stall. Mm. 
It honestly does look like you guys are stuck. <laughs> like, there's not really many supplies here to plug this hole up. You're just kind of in a mountain somewhere. <laughs> Wait? <laughs> More weights? <laughs> Go dig up a bunch of shrubs. Yeah, I would say if you could do that, I would roll a survival check to make a makeshift hatch. Out of your natural surroundings. Tarragon. Yeah, that'd be a survival check. So Tarragon is going to give, uh, is going to help Ariza so Ariza can deal with advantage. It's a good thing you did it with advantage. Um, that burned a one. Uh, but no, together you were able to find enough shrub bush to make a makeshift hatch to plug the hole up. So you kind of just put a, a shrubbery hatch over it. <laughs> okay. Also, uh, take a stick and some of my spare clothes and make a sort of makeshift flag. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, a marker so no one steps. Ah, okay, I see. Oh, I thought you were claiming this place for your god. For the Bloodhound Coalition? Why shouldn't we have our own lands? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, so yeah. It, uh, you've, this fucking, this fucking hole to nothing. Uh, <laughs> uh, how did that take us? How long? Um, it it's probably about two ish in the afternoon. If you're there about midday, maybe two or three, a little late afternoon. Does it take you that extra half a day to get back? So it'd be pretty late, but not too late at night. Galra, they've been gone for hours. <laughs> I don't know. What what is there? To do? You know what? Latreus is bored. He's gonna spend the rest of the day after the fight, mm -hmm. honestly, just walking around town exploring. What all is here, Jacob? It's like uh, it's just it's a mining town. Uh, there's a general store. There's mm -hmm. the Ophelia's oddities. There's the soldier uh -huh. training outpost. The thing uh -huh. that they do for fun is the fighting pit. 
What is what is location number eight? Eight is the general store. I'll go to the general store. Fuck it. You go to the general store? Yeah, small small town general stores typically have some weird shit in them. Okay. Um. So yeah, the others are uh, starting to head back. Take the rest of the half of their day to come back. Uh, you get to the general store, and there is a very bored looking clerk just sitting there, and he's like, "Welcome to the store." Where you can get all of your general necessities and needs for a normal, happy life. <laughs> Just re- Do you have anything excessively flammable here? Uh, um, what's we got? I don't know. We got some uh, grease. <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, take some of that. You take some. Um, okay. You got some. You got some oranges. <laughs> kind of looks around as you see like what we're we're in a very temperate area like kind of temperate close to mountainous he's like you th- you think that we could make an an orange you think we could grow oranges here dude you can grow oranges like anywhere no we do have apples hmm yeah, I'll take some apples and I think strawberry oh yeah we have some fresh strawberries he actually gets excited <laughs> about that one Listen. He, yeah, he, he your apples and your strawberries, man. Yeah, he gets uh, he gets some apples and strawberries out for you. Um, let's see how much how much am I buying here? He, um, yeah, I'll toss I'll toss down uh I'll toss down three gold. That's a lot of grease apples and strawberries that you want. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Uh, I'm a hungry boy, and I'm a vegetarian, and I got, like, a month's journey back home. He, he gets you, like, a whole-ass burlap sack of strawberries. Um, you get, like, five, uh, like, potion-sized bottles of grease that are all... That would be enough for, like... That, for small uses, that'd be enough... Uh, let's see here. There, how much... How big would a potion? You think a potion would be like a liter? No, not a liter. Like a cup. Or... Yeah, I would think a potion is like a cup. So you have like five cups of grease. Eight that, ounces. That, yeah, eight ounces. Eight ounces. Half a cup. So you have you have you have like so you know, five times eight with forty ounces of grease that you can use in whatever way you want. Um, and he just kind of gets this like not. And funny enough, an apple box of apples. <laughs> uh, so it's like one of those, um, I don't know. Uh, what kind of apples are they? Are they red, green, or yellow? They're red apples. Okay. They are. So, yeah. And, you know. Hey, so I ain't trying to buy you out of store or anything. We, but, get, uh, we get apples really frequently, so like, don't worry about that one. I did want to ask, since I was here, um, does the name Taladesh mean anything to you? You mean like the the children's story about the not why you don't go into the mountains at night? Oh, so that that ranges out here too. Okay, good to know. I mean, uh, some somebody came from. Uh, one of the other cities and said that's why you don't go into the forest at night. So I think location of where you go is just based on where you live. <laughs> right, right. You know, I, I understand he's something of a uh, of a boogeyman. Um, you see, I'm a I'm a researcher. I'm I'm trying to you know piece together clues of you know where maybe Taladesh may be since nobody's seen him in seventy years. Why would you be looking for a vampire, dude? Like. The story it's, says that he killed like a bunch of our people, and only a great paladin took him down. Like because I don't believe he's dead. Come on. Uh, also, like it's a children's story, man. <laughs> yes, but all stories are based in some sort of truth. Remember that. I mean, it could have been an owl bear. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Uh. Anyway. Sorry to waste your time. No, it's fine. I, you're the most interesting thing that's come in here in a while. Yeah, well, I get that a lot. Especially Not thro- many staters in this country. Especially Weird. throwing around three gold like you own the place. Uh, I mean, if you think that's bad, I have ten more on me. 
What? <laughs> so he's just like, what? Yeah, no, dude, I'm an adventurer. I'm rich. <laughs> no. I pull out I pull out a sack of ten gold. Yeah. That man. Like I, I barely get paid like thirty copper a month. Like Dude, do you hate your life right now? I fucking hate I are I are you kidding me? I'm thirty two and I work at a general store. Dude, I'm about to change your life right now. <laughs> no way. Here's fifteen gold. Take it. It's yours. Oh, I thought you were going to hire him. He just kind of sits there and he looks. <laughs> he, he looks up at you. Really? Yeah, no. Dead ass. Uh, he kind of looks over to the back room. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jeremy. Yeah, what is it? Fuck off. And he just walks out the store. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I live for this. I live for this level of chaos. <laughs> hey, Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why did you set up a trade deal oh to the capital? Oh my God. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> if I give you 50 gold right now, can you ensure me that you can have a constant supply of these apples and strawberries going to the capital? I specifically to a uh, to a guild called the Bloodhound Coalition. I would ask your local general store, my man. But dude, they don't grow apples. It sucks. But that's the thing, is like they might be able to order it. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to have to go through the general store. Why can't I just do the deal with you? Whatever. Alright, fuck you. No money. You for literally you. <laughs> made my my best employee quit today. Fuck you, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> as you leave, <laughs> you see the, the bird and walk out. <laughs> as you leave, you see the dude who's there that you just gave the fifteen gold to. He's like, isn't he the fucking worst? <laughs> He's a fucking dick bag, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry you deal with him. Here's another fifty gold. Buy a house. He looks. My wife and kids Retire. are. Good. My wife and <laughs> my wife and kids are gonna be so. I can send my kids to college with this. <laughs> What's your name, dude? I I'm Latreus. Latreus Hopstepper. I'm. I'm, uh, I'm Will. Will, you got a last yeah. name, Will? You're Faye, aren't you? Not like that. I was born and raised in Cliffside. I don't even know how to do that shit. Oh, uh, um, I I'm Will, Will Silverton. Will Silverton. Nice to meet you, Will. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, here's the fifty gold. Um, yeah, uh, 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 get uh, your uh, life together, dude. Uh, uh, <laughs> he actually he looks and he opens it. You see his eyes just turn to like dollar signs. Um. <laughs> And Dude, you invest in something. And you have don't made, spend this all at once. You've made you a man. Spend man's... this all at once. And you waste your money. It's going to ruin your life. Be <laughs> smart about this. I buy apples. I think we're going to move to Northwind. I hear it's nice. <laughs> Cliffside is lovely this time of year. Yeah, maybe we'll catch a play. I got so much thinking to do. And he just sprints off home. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, generosity. You've just changed a man's life. <laughs> He's Forever. He's going to be an NPC in a different campaign. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and that was fun. <laughs> and the rest of the day goes by with pretty much low incident. And um, the... Hey, hey Laura, guess what I did? What? Um, well, I bought a bunch of apples and strawberries first. Why? I'm hungry, and you guys all have fish. <laughs> Yeah, well. Don't eat meat like that. Um, also, I bought 40 ounces of grease. I don't know if that'll help us with that little project. He just, like, his eyes, are, like, widened a little bit. Like, what? Why would you buy so much? I don't know how much we need for testing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair answer. I'm not a thinker. <laughs> That's a fair answer. I can't even blame him for that one. <laughs> um... Oh, but I got a guy to uh, quit a quit his job for fifty gold. Over just fifty gold? Yeah, I gave him I gave him fifteen gold, just as like a mercy, you know, because like he seemed miserable, and that would have made him really happy. Mm -hmm. Well, then I gave him another fifty. 
and told him to get his life together. And for the 15, he quit his job and told his boss to go fuck himself. Where was this again? The general store. Okay, noted. Yeah. Oh, don't talk to Jeremy. That guy's a douche. <laughs> again, noted. Um, yeah. And it gets into evening, uh, a little into the night, and eventually uh, the rest of the party returns. And um, I think I'm sending his kids to college. It's weird. Ariza uh, uh, has a bloodied bandage over her hand. Tarragon has, like, dirt all over the front of him. <laughs> What the hell, guys? Tarragon, <laughs> oh. haven't you been there before? <laughs> Goals? We've dug a hole! <laughs> it's been rough. <laughs> Tarragon. <laughs> There's a fuck off hole. <laughs> <laughs> I, I almost fell in. Dude, are you okay? <laughs> Well, did, did we learn anything? Any any updates about, you know, creepy rock man who lives in your mind? Blood doesn't work. That's a fair one. Probably would have made a big flesh splash. <laughs> uh. Oh. Well, um, the general store doesn't like me anymore. Um, <laughs> but I got some apples and some strawberries. Uh, and we are ready to go home. Mm. Whenever you are. <laughs> and I have been thinking of a therapeutic session for all of us. Because fuck, it seems like there's some distrust. Also, Especially after that line incident. Also, the rest of the party. Um, uh, Latreus, after you came back, you noticed this too, but the rest of the party sees that 293 now has a sash that says champion as he's sitting at his table. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, and 293's the new champion here. Yeah. He signed a kid's pickaxe. I got that this afternoon. I am Can I get my cool back? <laughs> <laughs> or do you still need it? Oh, what? My, my quill. Can I have oh, it back, yeah. or do you still need of it? Of course. <laughs> and he, he gives it to you back, and the tip is just squished from how much he's been writing with it. <laughs> mm. Keep it. <laughs> I think we should leave in the morning. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty charged right now. Um, mm -hmm. if you guys want to sleep in the back of the, in the back of the cart, I can, I can get us home. Huh. All right. Um, yeah. If uh, you guys agree to that, it won't be that big a deal. That would be nice. Um, Do you want to stop by and say bye to your folks first, Dargon, or you're covered in mud right now, so not really sure how that'll go. Did last oh, night. Oh, okay. All right. Then on we go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, if we do, we can switch off all drive. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, you guys uh, go off. You go off in the night. Um, and it's another 15 day journey back home. Uh, do you want to do that thing, uh, on the way home or do you want to wait until you get back? Do what? Do you want to do your therapeutic session on the way home or do you want to wait until you, you get I'm back? waiting until we get back. Okay. So it's 15 how many, days. How many days rations was it to get it, there? It'll be 15 days to get home. Got it. 15 minus days. I have 20 rations yep. left. Minus 15 for all of you. I have 17. Um, so, yeah. Uh, do we want to go straight to the mansion, or do we want to, like, go into town first? Or the straight into the... I said straight to the mansion so we can clean up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, let's see. I'm going, I'm going home. Okay, everyone go straight. There. Um, you all eventually get home. It's mid afternoon. Um, you you walk inside, and you are immediately greeted by Cambry. She's like, "Welcome back, guys." Oh, whoops! Hey. <laughs> 
it's uh, it's good to see you. How how was how was the um? Yes, we're alive, Tarragon. Uh, and uh, the, the mine. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, it was it was pretty bad. Um, I think uh, I think honestly, we need a group therapy session. Oh. Um, I think it's a little overdue. Um, some hostilities are very clear and apparent. I look at Ariza and whisper. <laughs> Tarragon, uh, I need to sleep more. <laughs> Um, you know, everybody started fighting each other. Um, so I think, uh, I think we need to talk about it. Um, uh, oh, um, Tarragon hit Ariza, um, Golra shot Ariza and Tarragon. Um, uh, well, oh, now, I, who did you shoot? Was it just Ariza? 293. Oh yeah. And you shot 293. Um, I think there was. Three started hitting people. It think, it got it got tense. I think there was something else other than just that, but yes. Nonsense. There, there Nonsense. Is. They would have gotten me too. Uh, Cambry's like, oh, oh, well, you know, wow. Yes, we we got some we got some talking to do. Um, if in the morning, is uh, every you wouldn't mind gathering everybody up. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get some uh, get some planning done. Uh, I mean, it is just. I, it's still the afternoon. Um, oh, I, would, would you guys like to hear about what we did before that? Yes, uh, what did you guys do? Yeah, so um, Minura and I went to Horizon Port because there were some... Um, there were some nobles coming from her continent and they needed uh, bodyguards. Oh shit! And so the so she had to teach me a bit about you know the fancy setting, um, and I had to yeah, wear. Yeah, it's not all fun, is it? I had to wear a dress, but we did. Oh, gross! But uh, we were able to do a nice like thigh cut, so I could still move my legs and kick if I needed to. Um, I would very much like to see that. <laughs> 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 um, did uh, Minero's like I taught Racket to. Eat more uh, cleanly than he has, and you can see that Racket is eating with a fork and a knife his lunch. And he he looks, and he's he's he looks, and his tail starts wagging, even though he's a bird. Um, <laughs> as he fluffs up in excitement to see all of he's you. Doing that thing that ducks little, do with a little, little, little tail, what, the tail wiggles. The tail wiggles that ducks do. Uh, and and Cambry just kind of like. Kind of gets in close and is like, also, did did you guys, did you recruit two people while you were gone? Because, like, yes. the, the, yeah, uh, the, the dwarf guy and there's this other person here. Um, Wait, we recruited a dwarf. Who's the other person? And you all look to the chair opposite of Minero. And, and the first thing all of you see is it looks like it's another Kenku, person, uh, a crow. But they stand up, and as they walk forward, you realize that this this crow with these piercing red eyes, there's, it's not red eyes, it's, it's glowing red lenses, and their cloak of a feather-like composition as they walk with more human-looking features. As Make this that picture bigger. Person walks up. Huh. I have been waiting for you. Um, and it, the the color is the color scheme is actually red and black, not the blue. It's just this is the best one I could find. Um, and after it takes a couple of steps, does two quick ones, and the the cape kind of flourishes back, and it looks like it splits into two wings before coming back together. As she gets into your face, Latreus, and kind of. Studies you. Oh. Yes, yes. This is correct. This is, this is wonderful. Oh, my visions are true. The, the satyr of flames. The, she looks over. The tower of ivory. That one was a bit less liter literal. Um, the tower of ivory. <laughs> Tarragon. <laughs> and she kind of looks over. More literal than I thought. The woman of red skin and eyes like a sunset. Oh. And a few I mean, other... You can just look at the drawings on the floor. They're pretty accurate. 
Are and, you kidding me, Risa? <laughs> and, and a few of the others, the other silhouettes I saw. Um, okay, I, it could have either been the Aarakocra or the Kenko. I was not quite sure. Um, and, it, and yeah, whispers Kenko. Uh, I, well, I... He doesn't speak much. And... Not to any of us, anyway. 293 kind of, like, steps away awkwardly. <laughs> uh, and... The gnome, the gnome of, of, of tinkering, and... Goes up to Galra and gets really in your face looking at, uh, studying you. <laughs> he takes, like, a half step back, or leans back, he's just like... No. <laughs> you got breath issues, man. <laughs> and and looks around, um, and, and looks at what kind of weaponry you have, and ah, uh, yes, that is what it is. And look and points to your gun. There was a silhouette that was illuminated by a bright flashing in my vision as well. That must be it. Um. Oh, oh no, I. I um, pardon me, pardon my. <laughs> I was just so excited. You see, I. I got a vision from the Raven Queen, and I had to heed here. I had to come here post haste. I'm gonna start readying a firebolt. <laughs> <laughs> Not Kara, hand hovering over his pistol. All right, lady, what do you want? My no, name. I'm kidding, I'm sorry. <laughs> my name is Octavia Schwart. And Octavia Schwart. 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 And. I I had a vision, and all of you were the center of it. So you're like an oracle? Well, I work at the graveyard in town, so my connection with the Raven Queen is a bit stronger than many, and she showed me. A vision of, of a creature of undead and those that I need their help to defeat it. What kind of undead? I'm not quite sure yet. That's a bit fuzzy. But one that hides in fog, roams alone, walking on its two hind legs, just skulking through the landscape. Go ahead and roll history, Ariza. Uh, since you're a too. ghost slayer, uh, you can get advantage. Can I roll for that, too? Sure. Oh, hey, John. Oh, hi, guys. Welcome. Oh, you have a hat, by the way. I told him. Also, oh. you have 214 gold. Uh, there's a lot of kinds of undead Ariza that you could think it could possibly be. Whisper your thinking, you know. It could be some sort of zombie creature, it could be a mummy, it could be many kinds of skeleton things, a lumbering, it could be a bodak, maybe. That's kind of rare, so you're like, eh, maybe not. Um, undead are relatively well... Uh, vague. Not vague, but um, categorized. And, and things. She looks and... I had been waiting for, for quite a few days, but I had heard by your associates that you had been out on a mission. Um, yeah, we just finished a string of missions. Um, yes, I definitely was hoping that I could acquire your services, as this is an adventuring guild, and what I have to offer are my services. You can call upon me at any time afterwards. Well, um... I go to Whisper and ask, and Whisper, do we have enough money in the budget? For what? <laughs> well, she wants us to hire her. No, I, I think she's offering to work for us for free if we help her. I mean, of course I would like any payment from missions that I go on as well, but... Right, but, like, you know... And you do not need to worry about lodging. I do live nearby in town. I do. I am the keeper of the graveyard, so. And Cambry looks. Oh, yeah, speaking of money, she kind of walks over to Whisper. Uh, Manur and I got uh, 465 gold to put in the treasury. How much? 465. Nice. <laughs> 
Um, and then she just like, kind of gives you the thumbs up and walks backwards into the seat, just like, you guys got this. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna slink away from this conversation to go sit next to Cambry. <laughs> like, how much gold was it? 465 for the treasury. Okay. I... Uh, uh, Octavia, I do think this is a good arrangement. I definitely think that this is one that would benefit us all. As she look, she looks around at Tarragon Arisa and Latreus really quick. The three of you, I have been told by the Raven Queen, have quite an interesting history and abilities to fight other undead creations. Something that my ward is very uh, hateful of. And as, as she's talking, you kind of hear flapping, and you look up in the banisters, you see... Um... <laughs> Tarragon! Uh, you see a crow <laughs> flap out of the banisters, almost getting snatched up by Racket's large constrictor snake, and land on her shoulders. Hey, who, who let this fucking bird in here? Get it out! <laughs> <laughs> I thought. Yo, get out of here! I start, I start swatting at it. <laughs> but the, the raven does land on her shoulders, on her shoulder. Um, Fucking birds! Gotta close the windows. <laughs> my. I feel like. I feel like all the birds just look at Latreus. Yeah, all the bird people just look at Latreus. <laughs> hey, think... you! You guys actually poop in the bucket. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Latreus, well, dude. Well, Latreus, do we need to have sensitivity training? There <laughs> is enough shit to clean here with racket running wild. <laughs> there has been paint on the floor for almost a year. <laughs> um, Octavia does kind of a not like a, a prance over a little bit a few ways and does a flourish and turns and looks at all of you. And, um, oh, I feel like I feel as if uh, this may help. And she goes, she grabs onto um, the, like, bird face and takes it off. And all of you see a very plain-looking human woman with brown shoulder-length hair. She's a fucking normie. Um, Whisper, what's your passive perception? 19. That I thought. I thought you would have a good... Pat, I thought it. Mine's 14. <laughs> what, you expected it to be higher? No, I thought uh, you were the one who I was banking this off of. <laughs> Dude, that crow is the devil. Um, and she holds the, the mask up to her chest and does a bow. Uh, with one hand out. If you need to rest for your journey, there is no one, there is no hurry as far as I know. I have not got another vision saying that there is one. Yeah, I think, uh, I think come back tomorrow, maybe the next day, just come back in like a couple days. <laughs> give give well, us some time to prep. Uh, you will know. Ah, uh, uh, you will know where to find me. I am yeah. tomorrow morning and join our trust session talk. <laughs> I mean, you could, yeah. Um, I am planning a therapy session for everybody tomorrow, which is required attendance. I speak up and tell everybody. Uh, you hear grumbles from two ninety three and Cannonball. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna talk about our feelings. Huh. Yeah, like your feelings towards the Kanku. <laughs> I'm not racist, if that is what you are implying, Goals. I just don't like normal, regular birds that poop on the floor. <laughs> um, but she, she puts uh, her mask back on. Well, then I will attend tomorrow. And um, walks by. And as she walks by, uh, kind of just studies people's faces again a little too close 
Like, <laughs> get away from me. The, the two Is things. Zara is just going to actually like put his hand up in his face to like block her. Like, no. <laughs> the two things that definitely catch her eyes are the uh, the freckles on both Galra and Ariza. Um, and it was a pleasure meeting all of you. And she does a flourish with her cape, and it looks like two raven wings again before walking outside. <laughs> Gonna have to sweep. <laughs> Why didn't I hire that guy to come clean? What the fuck? <laughs> Alrighty. I could hire a custodian for like 15 gold and work here the rest of his life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, you guys have the rest of the day to yourselves. It's kind of, eh, I'd say it's about mid-afternoon. All right, uh, everybody. Uh, yeah, like I said, group therapy session tomorrow morning. The only person who really doesn't have to be there right now is Cannonball because we just met him. Um <laughs> Unless he wants to work on trust building. I mean, I don't, I don't have any reason not to trust any of you. Yeah, you will. 293 has <laughs> been pretty solid, but he tried to hit me. Bruh. Um. Why are we having this again? Who decided this? Uh, me. Why? Because I'm in charge of the group relations here. Are you? Am now. Cambry nods. I mean, they did kind of joke about Latreus being HR, and then it just kind of stuck. Don't. No, no, no. You no. fucking tried to attack me, Ariza, and then you intentionally did it while you were in your own mind. Fuck you. We're talking about this. Racket, racket looks. Feelings! <laughs> Thank you, racket. <laughs> You tried to shiv me three times with a rapier in a cave. Fuck you. We're talking about that. All right. John, my man. <laughs> um, Cambry shrugs. I mean... What it's I've... also better if we all understand each other a little bit better. <laughs> You know, that way we know who we're fighting with. Because, let's be honest, I don't think Cambry knows anything about Cannonball other than that he likes to fight. I don't think 293 knows shit about Minerva. And I really and truly don't know anything about most of you. Cambry Should nods. Should I whisper introducing Minerva? <laughs> I'm capable of, of introducing myself. And we just yeah. haven't had that much time yet. I agree with this. Yeah. And, and Cambry shrugs and just like, yeah, I mean, as as a captain of the ship, getting knowing who your people are, it's, it's important. important. It's crucial. Yeah. And while I accept your apology, Ariza, while I accept your apology, I am worried that it could happen again. <laughs> so we need to take measures to ensure that we all have a better understanding of who we are. I think that will help build the trust of the group and make us work better together. I can't believe I'm saying this out loud. Latreus has a point. <laughs> <laughs> I know, shocker, right? It's like I'm not the dumbest person on the planet. I, I rise. I don't. I don't think it's going to prevent it from happening again. But it could. <laughs> 293 looks. There's, I don't think the mind control thing is what we're talking about here. I think it's the, 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 <laughs> the fighting pit thing. And before that, the unnecessary hostility towards each other. We've been very short with each other recently. It's, it's time we all kind of nip that in the bud. We all kind of need to understand. Uh... You know, honestly, like, I thought, I saw them ganging up on Cannonball, and I thought that wasn't fair, so I was going to go join him. 
And I thought it was going to be a friendly, jovial fight between, you know, them pretty much doing what they can to fight us evenly. And uh, apparently they took that opportunity to bully me in a corner. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I think they were just bored. <laughs> and wanted an excuse to hit something. Again. <laughs> Uh, but I'm not going to speak for a rising whisper. Whisper has his own words. He can use them. Yeah. Well, kind of. <laughs> that's, that's fucking funny. Sensitivity training next. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Cambry. I mean, it hasn't stopped him from speaking his mind up to this point. <laughs> Judging crow face. <laughs> Cambry just kind of leans back and is just like, if we're doing it tomorrow, that's I think that works best because we kind of came into the... We are already a little hot in the day, and I think a fresh brain would help a lot, help everyone out. Yeah, give everybody a chance to relax, bathe, eat like a regular meal that's not rations. <laughs> Um, drink alcohol. Also, Cambry, I have a box of apples and a burlap sack of strawberries. I think I'm going to plant the strawberries and let Racket take care of them. I don't know. <laughs> Racket, look. Ra- his head snaps to yours in like a frame. It's just like strawberries. Won't go apples and strawberries? <laughs> yes. Alright, cool. Here's a sack of strawberries. Can I just throw- How heavy is this bag of strawberries? It's probably like two pounds at this point. I throw a two pound bag of strawberries at Racket. He just, he catches them and like the chair tilts back just a tiny bit and it lands forward and he's like, yes, and runs off with them. <laughs> I don't know where he's going to grow them. Grow them outside. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. Yeah, you guys have the rest of the day to yourselves. Um. Unless there's anything you want to do in particular, uh, we might just go to the next morning. I have anything particular in mind. Okay. I'll ask Cambry out for a drink, but... Yeah, sounds good. I'll write a plan for the sensitivity training. <laughs> we <still> talk. Got... <laughs> <laughs> Look, man. Y'all made it weird. Uh, but we did not complain about feathers. <laughs> I didn't complain about feathers. I complained about shit on the floor. Which is reasonable. Uh, There's a difference between avian people and normal fucking birds that poop on the floor. Um, uh, before you and Cambry leave, Cambry goes so over the whisper. You're saying you crack horse jokes that are on a centaur. <laughs> Cambry goes over the whisper. Uh, I mean, it gets a bit more... You eventually get the hang of it where it's a lot more, you know... You have a style to it, but yeah, your body just turns into just a, a flurry. It's incredible. Ah, so you've been keeping your training. She, she claps her hands together. So you've been keeping your training up. Oh, I'm so happy. I was worried, honestly. <laughs> he used it to beat the hell out of me. Don't be too happy about it. All righty. Well... Keep it up. I still got my ass kicked. Nah. <laughs> Keep it up. It's fine. You hear her <laughs> in the uh, at the other chair. <laughs> I guess. Um. Uh, Who's uh, ready for therapy? Ariza, as you're leaving to go uh, stock up on rations at the fish uh, at the uh, at the fishing people, you're every so often. At the corner of your eye, you definitely see uh, a crow mask just kind of peeking, following you around. Um. Not not really keeping uh, very self-conscious. Yeah. Uh, keeping distance, but like, uh, but like trying to be like, but, but mission, but <laughs> mission from the Raven Queen. <laughs> like you can tell that they're they kind of want to push the the mission they have, but they do want to let you have your distance. It's that <laughs> you know. Don't forget about me. It's been yeah. two minutes. It's been two minutes. <laughs> Fuck off! It's been like fifteen minutes. <laughs> um. 
but yeah. <laughs> if you stayed in your homes, then you wouldn't have this bird. <laughs> um. Oh yeah. Oh, you do. And um, they kind of do like a little skip in place and uh, take off their mask and hurry over. Like, <laughs> I'm. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just. I've already had to wait a while. Now that you're here, it's hard to wait even longer. Um, They're just stalking us. <laughs> I do not appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, man. We we have we have a fucking yandere following us around. <laughs> Um, Rises yandere girlfriend. <laughs> you don't know. She has been nothing but nice to you. All of you. <laughs> Look, man. She keeps showing up. She knew about... She, she was freaking out about people with freckles. I'm just saying, that's, that's some stalker shit. <sighs> Give me a second. Yeah, I know. Give me a second. I... Oh, my dog threw up. She's flicking her tail at me. Yeah, she wants to stop. She's doing that. Okay. So what's going on? I'm waiting for Jacob. Threw up on the floor. Oh my goodness, Jacob, hurry. Jesus. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of unresolved issues that we need to talk about. Look, man, there's some trust issues in this group, all right? Oh, sorry about that. Fuck. I, I think, think so we got to deal with the first problem when it gets birds. <laughs> Normal birds are annoying, and they poop everywhere. And I work, I work at a fucking outdoor cinema. Of course I won't like birds. They interrupt the show. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can go to the... Uh, Ariza, you can go to the graveyard. I did get Henryed. Um, and, um, you, uh, you're there. Uh, or, yeah, you, you, it's, it's pretty nice. It's, you know, decent time of day, so, you know, it's not, like, creepy or anything. Um, and you see as you walk in, uh, effigies of, uh, the Raven Queen, at the gate, the passer on to the undead, or passer on to the dead into uh, the next life. Ah, oh, damn it, I got fucking, I got derailed. Sorry, I need to get myself back into. Hey, Jacob. Yeah. What? I think he's sending a meme. Oh. Mater sent a meme. Whoa, what? Oh, it was when, um... We saved our lives. We are eternally grateful. On <laughs> Terror uh. Yep. And yeah, you, um... 
You pay respects, and she nods. Yes, not many people have too much of um, a worship for the Raven Queen. I... She had connected to me. And I have kept this place safe, and I've kept it uh, run and kept all kinds of undead from breaching the, the wonderfulness of our, our capital. It's a simple life. And you, you, uh... Well, you're kind of... I wouldn't say you're born into upkeeping a graveyard, but it's a calling. It's definitely one that I've just found myself drawn towards. I've always had an affinity with parts of many goddamn it one. <laughs> uh, it's something I've always had an affinity with, and I've had my own issues with with undead in my life. So to make sure that no one becomes an unholy abomination, well, that's where I wound up. And. A ghost slayer blood hunter. That is a quite a, a rare breed indeed. Look at this shit. Look at this shit Juan put in the Discord. I did, I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Also calling. Hmm. Yes, of course. Um, she kind of looks around, and um, that's the wrong character sheet. Uh, there's. Uh, it's very fortunate that there are many in your uh, group that have such an affinity for the destruction of the undead. I'm not quite sure my my vision would even bring me to you if that was the case. But I'm glad it has. Hmm. Well, I know that you're going to have a busy day tomorrow. There's going to be a bit of uh, interesting conversations. <laughs> Please, um, don't let me take too much of your time, as the sun is setting. And the sun does set, uh, eventually. Or, uh, begins to set, and as, as you two are talking, she kind of looks back behind you, because you have your back to it. And your eyes really do reflect the sunset. Quite wonderfully. Oh, she flirting hard. This girl's fucking thirsty. <laughs> and, um, well, unless you say something else. But, uh, She kind of gives a, a smile. Flirting back, we here for it. She gives a small smile. Um, gay panicking. <laughs> she, she gives a small smile. Um, oh. Thank you so much. And um, heads off to her little cottage that's uh, nearby the graveyard. Rides has got a girlfriend. Rides has got a girlfriend. Not confirmed yet. 
<laughs> Not confirmed. I love it. Thank you for that. That was awesome. <laughs> Little head cannon. Uh, Not yet. Sorry, I ship it. Uh, soon. I ship it. As the creator of Voyage Campaign, I ship it. <laughs> Maybe track the undead. Hmm. Interesting. I think as part of the subclass, yes. Eventually, but um, I don't think you can yet. Uh, I think it, I think as of right now, it's just like she has advantage on history checks to recall information about him. But I don't know if she can track him yet. But that's metagaming. Mm, but that's metagaming. I don't, I don't know what Bloodhunters do. I ain't looked at it too close. There's a Ghost Slayer. Um. I'm just going to uh, sit down and start writing note cards out. Making, hmm. making template... Uh, Biggest fear, reason for adventure, and um, well, you can track now just a survival who trust the least. Um, yeah, go ahead. Uh, since you're in the graveyard, go ahead and roll that survival check with advantage to search for undead. Did you give Father the grace, or you just have it? I have it. Okay. Um, I have it, but if you want it, you can come ask for it. As you were uh, looking through uh, this graveyard, it's it's kept rel it's kept fairly clean of any kind of undead or um, any kind of uh, any intrusions. You see, um, you see signs of where some might have started, of like people and rituals, like but shattered bits of ritual sites and. Keeping from the undead, you see some chunks of bone from things exploding that might have been raised, but everything has been kept within the cemetery. Undead doesn't show up in the capital of Sylvaria, and now you know why. <laughs> Uh, she was seeing, in, in a vision, she saw a creature. She was brought to you through a vision. Yeah, so nothing yet of nearby. Um, but yeah. Do you eventually head back, Ariza? All right. You head back, you arrive in in the night, and, um... Well, Treyas, how long do you and Cambry go out for drinks? Um... I go out, uh... We, we, we'll stay up, like, an hour or so. Okay. Before, I, before I'm just like, alright, we should probably head back. Alright, Ariza, roll stealth. <laughs> um... Let's see if she can beat my score. <laughs> um... But, yeah, so... Uh, you um, you end up going to <laughs> Whisper knows. Whisper always knows. <laughs> but he doesn't say anything. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Camry also notices. No, Latreus. Uh, oh, actually, she doesn't oh. have that high of um a passive perception. I've got a, I've got a fourteen passive. She still uh Jazz beat it. Tarragon, which yeah. I think Tarragon also has a fourteen. Actually. Uh, Ten plus wisdom. Cambry does know. <laughs> Cambry does notice, and um, is just about to go. Oh, hey, hi! Yeah, I do notice. <laughs> oh, Gara would notice. <laughs> oh yeah, so Gara, Cambry, and Whisper notice. Yeah, you know, fuck it. Cambry's like, oh hey, Ariza, welcome back. <laughs> One second. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. You end up uh, 
I'm guessing, Ariza, you go straight to your room. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. So the night finishes out. Uh, Jazz, you can get your health back. Um, and it is the next morning. It is the dreaded morning. It is the begr it is the begrudged morning of therapy. Um, Latreus is going to go ahead and um, start setting up the tables, everyone, uh, making sure that they're nice and clean, making sure that everybody's got a spot to sit. Everyone uh, begins I'm to gather around. Breakfast for everybody. <laughs> kind of like out of it, Galra leaves his jacket upstairs and just kind of comes down and she's like, "All right." get this over with. Ariza, you check the mail and nothing really there right now. Uh, it's just... Eh, that's, it's mostly just kind of junk mail, you know. Three easy steps to increase your eldritch magic. Uh, no. <laughs> Ooh, taking that. <laughs> <laughs> Now, hold on. Cart's extended <laughs> warranty? <laughs> Cert's extended warranty. Ooh, a coupon. Ooh, a coupon. <laughs> oh, dude, coupon on fish. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we getting this? <laughs> we get free fish every day. Throw it away. <laughs> Hot pan singles in your area. Hot pan singles in your area. <laughs> <laughs> Hot bards in your area. <laughs> yeah. Hot bods are in your area, and they're horny. Throws oh. it in the fire pile for Latreus. All the, the junk, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, cool. More charcoal. Tips. <laughs> has my, my sorcery, sorcery monthly. <laughs> <laughs> um... But yeah, you guys, uh... No, it's late again. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's still not here. Must have gotten lost in the mail service. Sorry, goals. So, Whisper, go ahead and, uh, and roll for your cooking. Did we ever say that was dexterity or wisdom? It's wisdom. Right. Complained to the post office. They've been sucking lately. That's well. Hold on. I have that. It's a pretty normal breakfast. Uh... I'll say... Oh. Cheese pie and onion soup. Cheese pie and onion soup. That's that's pretty good. Um, Unless people want smoked sausage. <laughs> I'm sure some people wow. will. As an option. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. All right. Oh, never mind. I guess it is smoked sausage, goose eggs, and dates. Oh. Racket comes tumbling in through one of the windows, and he's like, strawberries! And his he has the burlap sack, and it's twice as heavy as it was last night. <laughs> he just parkour. No. Yes. <laughs> uh, no. He literally tumbled in. Like, he tripped he over the windowsill. The window. Yeah. <laughs> Like, it crashed in. <laughs> this druid is going to be breaching and clearing buildings just to throw strawberries no, at people. He just pulled a Kool-Aid, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and he just, like, Whisper goes and sets down all of the food, like, nice and, and good and stuff. And and Racket just dumps the bag of strawberries all over the table. <laughs> so there's, like, four, there's four pounds of strawberries on the table. <laughs> I'm going to start eating the strawberries. <laughs> God will ask the question, where did these come from? I made them. Well, half of them I bought, but no. the other half I'm unsure. No. 
These are all new strawberries. <laughs> what happened to the original strawberries? He I hand, gave you two pounds. He hands you a bag that is like now one and a half pounds. <laughs> Here's the old bag. Do you just want to plant these? And just let them grow naturally? But I grew them. <laughs> oh, you did? Okay. Well... <gasps> You know what, Racket? Why don't you keep that one and a half pound bag of strawberries? We may need them later. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> um, but yeah. I mean, Honestly, Dollar fills up like a bowl of strawberries and just eats them. <laughs> yeah, Latreus is just vibing with some strawberries and an apple. And there's also sausage and goose eggs and... <laughs> and eat sausage. And uh, whatever the other thing was. Um Date. Dates. Dates. Dates are good. But yeah, you're all now gathered around the one table. Except for right, everybody. Except for me. So, <laughs> here's what I'm going to do. I'm oh. going to give you all sheet, several sheets of paper throughout the day. And we're going to write down what I ask you to write down. And then we're going to talk about each other. And where we stand and why we feel the way we feel about each other. And then we're going to do some trust building exercises. And no, it's not trust falling because that shit's stupid. Anybody can do that. It does not mean trust. So, first things first. I'm going to give everybody a sheet of paper. I'm going to give everybody a piece of charcoal. I'm going to say, I want you all to write down on this sheet of paper who in this group you trust the least. I gotta look at all my NPCs. That's gonna be interesting. Just... And everybody walk away from the table to go do this. Okay. And then come back in 15 seconds. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I gotta look at. I gotta look at all my um, all my character sheets and see. I'm making life extra hard on Jacob. Yeah, because I've got so many people. To uh... we did buy some tables. They're here, Ariza. Yeah, they're all here. It's just that you know yeah. everybody needs to gather around for specific tasks. Let's see here. Wait, wait, wait. That's easy. Where is Ariza? I don't see her at the table. Down at the bottom. Ariza, get at the table. <laughs> no. <laughs> just uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Write down on this piece of paper who you trust the least. <laughs> okay, I know who you don't. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's fair for you. <laughs> she distracted this morning. She very distracted this morning. Okay, I think I figured out for all of them. I gotta see if I can get my fucking dog back inside. No. Alright. Ophelia? Is that what it was? Who? What? Four? The new girl? The bird lady? That's Ophelia? Oh. No, the bird lady uh, is um, Minura. Oh, so can't see. Oh. Minura. Yeah. Oh, oh. The, but the, uh, the, you're not talking about the new person, right? Or? Right. No, are you talking about the person who uh, you talked to yesterday that left? No, I'm talking about oh. uh, Whisper's girl. Okay, yeah, Minura. Yeah, okay. Good, good, good. Okay. All right, so, uh, Jazz, that's in character. <laughs> I'm gonna be real honest. Just Octavia. I'm more jazz. I don't know what you get them from. Alrighty. Um. So. Ooh, I am. Hold on. So I've got Latreus, Ariza, oh, Golra, mean... Goals, Tarragon, Whisper, Cambry, Racket, Minera, or Minera, Cannonball, two ninety three, and who else am I missing? Goals. I've got goals in here. 
So Cambry, Minura, 293, the Cannonball, a Rise of Terragon call. I mean, yourself? No, I'm at the top. Racket? I've got Racket. Whisper. Whisper. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, never mind, never mind. No, I'm sorry. I was right. Yeah. I got the right number. Okay. Yeah, you haven't hit 12 yet. Um, yeah, there are not 12 of us. All right. I'm prepared to an for this question to be answered. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to have everybody fold their pieces of paper. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to have you all put them in this bowl. And I'm not going to look at this bowl. Okay. And I'm just going to wait until everybody's put theirs in there. Right. Everybody puts theirs in. Okay. All, all of the NPCs do. I don't know about. I'm going to reach my hand in the bowl. I'm going to start shuffling up the paper, <laughs> stirring it around a bit, and I'm going to pull one out. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll start going... We'll start going clockwise, starting with goals. Uh, goals, who did you write down? I already put it. <laughs> Latreus. That's one for Latreus, okay. <laughs> Alright. Galra, who did you write down? Uh, <laughs> That's really so funny, it's, Joe. It's not a name, it's just it's an actual answer. It's no, on a personal level, just about everyone. That, that's fair. <laughs> it's that sentence on a personal level, just about everyone. It's that sentence. Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. Yes. That's great. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm making a tally of my own. That's fine. Um, Okay, next up we have Tarragon. Tarragon, who did you put as the person you trust the least? Oh man, this is uh, interesting. This is really interesting. Monero, just because you haven't... Okay. Well, Monero has been in the mission. Uh, she was there when um, was Goals almost drowned. Yeah, when Goals is almost dragged away by the ocean. But still. Mm -hmm. But that's, still, that's a fair... Know. That's still a fair answer because it's been one mission. Mm -hmm. Who did Cambry put down? Uh, Cambry... Uh, put down goals. Down goals, okay. Uh, yes, this was when Terragon was gone. Oh, it is when Terragon was gone. No, yep, it, it does. was gone at that point. Yep, yeah. Uh, Ariza, who did you put down? Minura and Galra. Okay. Galra and Minura. Okay. <laughs> Down. I had put down Paragon. Jacob, who did Cannonball put down? Uh... There, it, that, his says no comment. Okay. What about racket? The ground. <laughs> okay. What does say? <laughs> I'm just going to look at the ground. I'm going to ball that one up. Burn it. <laughs> what did Whisper say? What did Whisper say? Latreus, Bulls, and Tarragon. Oh. Yes. Um, who did 293 put, Jacob? Himself. Uh, 293. 
293 put himself. Okay. And who did Manura put down? Uh, Manura uh, put down... I had this one. My brain just ejected it out of my own head. Uh, I'd like to change my answer. Uh, that was sketchy. No, we're not changing answers. Manura put down Tarragon. <laughs> Manura put down Tarragon. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So, so I didn't read out who put what because yeah. nobody put their names on the paper. This yes, was just yes, a random. Yes. I was just asking. Yes, so yes. Because I yes. had the tally. So, a final tally comes down to three votes for me, one vote for Ariza, two votes for Gal, two votes for Galra, three votes for Goals. Four of you don't trust Tarragon. Holy one shit! One of you doesn't trust Whisper. One doesn't trust Cambry. One doesn't trust Racket. Three doesn't trust Manera. One doesn't trust Cannonball, and two of you don't trust 293. So let's talk about the non-problem people first. Uh, Golf does some quick head math. Aren't you one short? The ground was not an option. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Racket's just like, oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Like snort laughs. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I uh, I'd like to start with a non prop with a non untrusted people first. So cannonball, racket, whisper. And Ariza, if you all wouldn't mind, please step away from the table and go to the table to the right. Oh, the right. By the drawing of Latreus and Galra. Yeah. Or oh, far. Yep. Far. Oh, the far one, I see. So. All of you. Cannon it's the rock with gun. Ariza, <laughs> Cannonball, Whisper, and yep. Racket. Okay. Mm hmm. And then... Galra. And 293, I would like you to go to the table that Ariza's portrait is at. Uh, sorry, who? One more time? Galra and... Uh, 293 and Galra. Okay. This is over here. And Tarragon, I'd like you to stand in the middle of the room. Oh. 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 So we have... Sad toot. <laughs> sure, I don't mind the elephant in the room. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm I'm still Son of a bitch. Sorry, three for Latreus, three for Gold, three for Minera, and Cambry. I would also like to move over to the table where Ariza is as well. Yeah. Cambry was who I didn't put on here. Oh, no, wait, no, I did, I just... Different message. Yeah, different message. Okay. So here's what's going on. Table number one. You each had one vote for each other. I'd like you guys to discuss why. Oh. oh. Why do you all think that you're untrustworthy? Table number two. You guys had two votes each. Why do you think you two are untrustworthy? And what could you do to make yourself trustworthy? What would you two have to do to gain trust, do you think? Tarragon, a lot of people here seem to not trust you. We're going to address that. Don't worry. <laughs> but we're going to start with table number one. Mm -hmm. So, Ariza, Cambry, Whisper, Cannonball. Racket, why do you think that somebody wouldn't trust any of you? Cannonball shrugs. Uh, it's easy for me. Uh, I'm brand new here, so, you That's know. That's very fair. <laughs> like, I get why we're doing this, but at the same time, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it's, it's better to say it out loud. I think it's as individuals. Yes. This is as individuals. Cambridge. 
why do you feel like somebody doesn't trust you? She just kind of sits there and thinks. Um, she's not that kind of person. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I kind of got people in a little bit of trouble because I missed a couple of very important hits. But, I, I mean... With only one, I guess that's not terrible. Okay. Not she's Ariza? kind of she's unsure. Yeah. Ariza, why do you think somebody doesn't trust you? Like we'll we'll circle back while our eyes is right. Yeah, while our eyes is typing. Cannonball. Or where do you did... think that the reason why it is oh, you somebody missed... doesn't trust you, you is missed... whisper and racket. racket. No, I'm aware. I'm I'm asking a second question oh. in addition to why do you oh, think nobody trusts you? Birds. Birds. Uh, I see. Um, God damn it, Juan. <laughs> God damn it, Juan. <laughs> oh, oh a, a it's not even intentional either. Arise is like I think because of the last mission. Okay. What do you think that you can do to fix that trust? What do you think would be the best way for you to fix it? I'm sorry. Why do you think that that is why somebody mistrusts you? That is the question I wanted to ask. It was, why do you think? And I'll ask the same thing of Cambry and Cannonball as well. It's so like with, with Cannonball, I'm going to say, why do you think you being new is the only reason why somebody doesn't trust you? I'm going to ask Cambry the same thing. Why do you think missing a couple hits is the only reason somebody doesn't trust you? Uh, tried to say. Uh, um, Cannonball is just like, I mean, like, that's the thing. Like, you know, you, you hire people based off of intuition but like you trust is earned right like you know i just gotta earn it just Very prove myself point. cambry's just like i i don't i'm a little stumped on that like i don't want to i'm not i don't like to think of myself as like too egotistical but it's kind of i don't know i kind of find it odd i thought everyone liked me i guess i'll just she kind of looks around. I guess I'll just uh, be a better friend to everyone. I don't know. <sighs> Fair enough. And Arise is just like, I tried to stab two people. Almost murdered goals. I mean, I'd be upset too. Which... <laughs> That's very fair. Whisper? Why do you feel like somebody doesn't trust you? Well, because of how I work. But why do you think just one person doesn't trust you for that? I figured there's at least one. Hmm. Racket, why do you think somebody doesn't trust you? <laughs> Nobody doesn't trust me. I'm the greatest. <laughs> no, this, this tally says otherwise. No. Whoever said that needs to get off their high horse. <laughs> Try not to leave everybody out. Okay. <laughs> Racket. We all know I'm the favorite in the popularity contest. <laughs> you know what, buddy? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Must have been my mistake. <laughs> and I just... I scratch his name out on the list. <laughs> and he runs around the tables. He just starts papping people's legs as he goes by. Everybody's. Nobody doesn't get the pap. <laughs> okay. So now, 293. Two people don't trust you. <laughs> Why do you think that is? Well... Kind of scratches his head. I mean, I'm a foreigner, and 
I didn't on the and I hurt you guys on the last mission. Okay. Do you think that because of your race we don't trust you? Uh, I mean, look at us. We're a very diverse cast. I mean, race and nationality are two separate things, right? I don't know. That's not... I... I hurt you guys. He just kind of slumps in his chair. Oh, okay. Galra? Two people don't trust you. Honestly, I thought it'd be more, considering you're so new. He's like, yeah, you know, I thought it'd be more, too. Why do you think it is that they don't trust you? Um, and he kind of sits back in the chair, and he's just like, yeah, can't exactly place why. I mean, I don't necessarily, I dodge questions, but that's because I don't feel like sharing about myself, where I feel like I'm not that important. Mm -hmm. I tell y'all what's necessary, and go about my business. Mm -hmm. And why do you think that somebody would be mistrustful of that? Because those who conceal information are very dangerous. I think that's very obvious. Mm -hmm. That's very fair. I'm going to walk over to Goals and... And Minura. Ah. And Minura. So three people don't think we're trustworthy. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I think it's because I'm a loose cannon. And I think that because I'm leave? unpredictable... Um, or they don't necessarily like the methods that I use. And I don't think you're supposed I think to be grilling. That's more than enough reason. I'm big. I'm fla I'm bright. I'm flashy, and I do big explosions. People tend not to want to be touched by fire. I'm really good at touching people with fire. It's kind of my thing. And <laughs> oh, and I. Uh, make contracts without people's consent. Um, but I do it for the greater good. Goals. Three people don't trust you. What do you think that is? Takes a moment to think over here. Well, it may have something to do because I hid my past. I Fought desperately not to reveal it, but not in the open. Don't know. Don't feel too great about it. Fair enough. Why do you think hiding your past would cause somebody to mistrust you? Because I essentially lied to everybody. For personal reasons, with nothing that would have been affected drastically. Okay. Manura, three mm -hmm. people don't mm -hmm. trust you. Why do you think that is? Well, not very many people know me in this group um, as closely as others. And yes, I may be... Uh, it, it is because I am a noble and I may seem haughty to a few of... Um, and I mean this in all honesty, no offense. A lot more of you are a lot more rugged than I deal with and probably like to deal with people like me. Mm. And so you think because of the difference in lifestyles that that's reason for mistrust? A little bit. I can see that some... I can see corruption in many noble backgrounds. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just need to get to know others more. Okay. It's fair. Tarragon. <laughs> I'm going to stand up and I'm going to walk over to Tarragon, put a hand on his shoulder if I can reach it. <laughs> get up on my tippy toes, on my tippy hooves. Yeah. You can just, um, you kind of just put the tips of your fingers on his shoulder. Yeah. Why do you, why do you think uh, why do you think four people don't trust you, Tara?
whisper your hat apparently turns to a Jesus. Yeah, in the middle of this, Whisper literally turns the spotlight on Tarragon with his new hat. <laughs> you mean Whisper? Whisper, yeah, that's what I mean. It's whisper fucking turns his hat's light on to spotlight. Yeah. I see. Tarragon's now in a spotlight. <laughs> Oh, most likely because of your sensing. Now I get why the iv why ivory tower is a thing. And do you think that your sensing is the only reason why you're mistrusted? Why do you why do you why do you feel that way? This is a, this is a thing. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to group therapy, everybody. I'm your therapist, Latreus. And today we'll be talking about why nobody trusts me. <laughs> <laughs> specifically, Paragon. specifically me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a thing to remind, to remind our trust. <sighs> I just think it's an interesting outcome that every that the most amount of people mistrust Tarragon. <laughs> I know. I think it's weird. I genuinely think it's strange. Yeah. Right. Uh, do you, oh, it was uh, it was. Do you think ill sensing is the reason why people don't or people mistrust you? And if so, why do you believe that is the case? What is it about ill sensing that makes you think it would be untrustworthy? Boy. Yeah. Typing out a paragraph. Yeah, I know, right? I can't wait to read Nader's new novel. <laughs> Tarragon, the I'm life sure story. It'll be a critically acclaimed bestseller. Tarragon, the life story. Tarragon in the Ivory Tower. <laughs> he's an elephant. That's why he's an Ivory Tower. It doesn't have to do anything with the phrase. <laughs> I was going to say, the tower nickname came from you being big and indomitable. And the ivory came from you actually having ivory. <laughs> I don't even call her the ivory tower. No, I it was... call the ivory tower. I just call him the tower. I mean, the only where that came out was the, the vision of Octavia. But... Yeah. Majority of people do not trust what they don't know, whether that's good or bad. You tell me if people trust Tarragon or trust El Sensing. Trust you, not El Sensing. Yeah, right. you were the person in question here, not El Sensing. Oh, I thought he was a proxy. Oh, mm -mm. points to gold. 293 looks. I think anybody who has, yeah, doesn't, yeah, doesn't trust you because of that connection, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, that's, that's a good answer. So I turn to everybody and I say, okay. So we don't trust Tarragon because of those sensei. Is that, is that what I'm getting? That, mm. that otherwise Tarragon's probably one of the most trustworthy people here? 
most of most we just don't trust him because he's associated with some deity that none of us have met. Uh, most of the uh, NPCs nod and cannonballs like I have no idea what the fuck you guys talking about. <laughs> You've missed a lot, cannibal. Yeah, I, I can cannibal. see that. Here's, here's five silver. Just go get some drinks. <laughs> fuck yeah. You, you're not needed here wait, today. Wait, cannibal. I I just gave cannibal the quick version. There's a unknown being inside that tiny crystal that talks to Terragon. I'm going to need some alcohol to process that. See ya. <laughs> okay. So. It's everybody pretty much nodded when I asked that question. I think so. Okay. So. You don't trust this deity. That's fine. I completely understand. Personally, I don't trust it either. Who wrote Tarragon and meant Tarragon? Not ill sensing. Hmm. Everybody, close your eyes. If you wrote Tarragon and you meant Tarragon, not ill sensing, raise your hand. Goller will raise his hand. Atreus also raises his hand. <laughs> Nobody Paragon, else. you were the only person who could keep your eyes open. Yeah. Now, I'd like everybody to go around the room, and we're going to explain why we don't trust somebody. We're going to start one at a time. Oh, fuck. This is going to be... Uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is who we... Yeah, we're explaining who we picked and why. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> why? <laughs> oh, Lord. Why? <laughs> no, why? <laughs> but we're going to start with Terragon. Gory. You and I don't trust Terragon. But you don't trust anybody. That's what you wrote on yours. So everybody that has one vote for them, congratulations. Most everybody trusts you. Except for Gaura. Gaura, why did you write Terragon? Or why don't you trust Terragon? Because I don't trust anybody. Okay. Why don't you trust anybody? It's just how it works. I found it's just better that way. Okay, but you work with us, you live with <laughs> us, and you eat our food. I mean, if you want me to go, I'll go. No, no. I'm just curious. Why is it that those who depend on you and those you depend on in battle, you don't trust, personally. When you're burned before, you don't exactly go ahead and throw yourself into the heat of it again. And again. And again. You get tired of it, and you start having all the scars from all the times that you've been burned, and all the times that you've tried to trust people. So, I've just found that there's no point. Okay. That's fair. Personally, I don't trust you, Tarragon, because I don't know a lot about you. I know where your parents live. I know that you're a dungeon delver of sorts. I know that's how you and El Sensing came to know each other. But other than that, you've been a pretty closed book. Hard to read. I don't trust it. Um, I just don't know a whole lot about you. That's why. Mm -hmm. Table three. Mm -hmm. Minera. Gold. You two. I can accept that. I'm a boring person. That's what Tarragon's reply is. Oh. Yeah. That, that's, that's fair. But we'll work on that personally later. Man, that's kind of sad. Oh. <laughs> we can we can work on that and we can fix that. You know? Boring is fixable. Mm -hmm. You know? You have your hobbies, you have your interests. May not be appealing to some, but... Yeah. My, my interest is elder god searching. What? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? My hobbies include uh, my becoming are... vessels and avatars. <laughs> are the undead and the unborn? 
My interests include um, raising all humanity while also collecting all the information the world has to offer. Uh, I like long walks on the beach. <laughs> Alrighty. Next. Yes, he's not untrustworthy. He's just not as cultured. Yeah, I think that's fair. <laughs> Next up, Manera goals. Galra doesn't trust you guys, and he's explained why he doesn't trust everybody. Two people don't trust you. I wonder who one of them is. Where is Atreus? <laughs> oh, I voted for Tarragon. My mistrust was in Tarragon. I trust you completely, Gold. Even after all that's happened? Yes. I am willing to admit that I put Tarragon's name down because of the whole thing that happened on day on uh, day two of my hiring. <sighs> and that's fair. Not a lot of context was given that day. I am fully willing to admit that, and I'm exactly. sorry, uh, Tarragon, if I caused any hard feelings. Mm. Now, the two people who voted for goals... Uh, who are the two that voted for goals? I know Cambry was one of them. Galra voted one for everybody. Right, yeah. there was three votes for goals and Monera. Who was the third mm -hmm. person for goals? I was. Yeah, goals okay. whispered. Whisper. Whisper, why don't you trust goals? It was, it was Whisper and Cambry, right? Yes, it was. Okay. Faking your death thing, was it? We're past that at this point. Oh. It was mostly about your past. I was fine with that. So everybody has their own. I forgot what the term was. Demons. <laughs> yes. Everyone has the demons. His name is. His, his name. Shalmir. <laughs> it's not every day you meet the manifestation of your actual demons. <laughs> I mean, just ask Percival Dorolo how well that goes. Anyway. And. And you wanting to experiment on things, not really questioning if you should. That's fair. His ethics being called into play, that's a reasonable reason to mistrust somebody. Cambry, why don't you trust Goldis? He's a crummy little pirate, and I wouldn't trust him on my ship as far as I could throw him. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. It's actually extremely fair. I don't think I would trust him on my ship either, but... Eh. Trust it, me. <laughs> I do, just not with my belongings. I guess we can agree on that. <laughs> In another universe. <laughs> I was gonna ask... Um, he, I, and honestly, it was a first, you know, intuition kind of thing. I'm a captain. I kind of get that. And he really hasn't proved me wrong yet. Ariza. I'm sorry, not Ariza. Uh, 293. He kind of looks... Yeah. <laughs> One person in this room doesn't trust you. Yeah. Who's the one person in the room who actually wrote 293's name? He raises his own hand. Okay. So we already know why you don't trust yourself. 
and you think it's because of a issue of betrayal. It's not really the first time in my life this has happened either. Okay. I've hurt people trying to help them so much that but there's a reason why I'm not even at the Iron Archipelago anymore. Okay. Well, let's talk about your adventures here, though. So far, to us, you've proven to be an extremely capable warrior, a defender of most of us, and though you had your moment where you slipped and you attacked us, that was mind control. And no amount of therapy is going to stop mind control. <laughs> Sorry, that was really good. <laughs> Oh, so really and truly the only person here who doesn't trust you is you. You know, Galra wrote everybody, so that's one of your votes. But Galra doesn't trust anybody for his own reason. I, yeah. So really and truly the only person who has a problem with you here is you. And that can be worked on. You know, I, I think I think it goes to show that, you know, no matter how destructive you are, you're still an extremely trustworthy individual. Um, and he, he, I mean, we left you alone with Galra for like, what? Two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> you two were the newest people here. You two could have robbed us blind, stolen all the money, stolen our chest and our cart. And this guild would have had no money, no resources. You would have owned the building because you'd have the deed. <laughs> <laughs> you could have fucked this guild completely. Mm. And you didn't. Granted, there were some holes in the yard and in some of the furniture and the floor. But that was fixable. Physical destruction can be cured. It's the emotional that's hard. But nobody here feels emotionally destructed by you. So congratulations. Nobody mistrusts you. He, you can see kind of has a sigh of relief, and he looks at, um, at uh, Tarragon. And to, and to answer your question, no, just exiled. Um, and then, like... He just kind of, like, sits back, and he kind of looks over at Galra, and his shoulders kind of slump. <laughs> oh. Um. And then nods. Okay, I can, I can work on this. Mm-hmm. And, and you and I can work on this together, or if you don't want help, you can work on it yourself. <laughs> My office will always be open. Just remember to knock. Apparently, I've got some work to do. Ariza, Cambry, My Whisper, Racket. I need to get an office. <laughs> yeah. I can put a desk in my room, and I can put a chair. Racket looks. I already told you, nobody mistrusts me. <laughs> You're right. Nobody mistrusts you at this table, except for Galra. But that's because Galra doesn't know you. Also, you almost tried to ki uh, take sniffles. <laughs> you did also almost try to take sniffles. He just sprints over at children's speed, jumps up onto your lap, and just puts his forehead on yours and grabs your head. Just trust. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, he's just chanting trust. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he's just like, okay, buddy. And he goes ahead and picks Rocket up and puts him down. <laughs> I win! And runs away. <laughs> Whisper Ariza Cambry. Are you three genuinely surprised that nobody mistrusts you? Cambry uh, kind of nods. You know, um, I was genuinely surprised somebody mistrusted me. A little bit there. I thought I'd done a really good job, but and so far you have. But I the totally only didn't mistrust. The only person who mistrusts you three is Gara. That's because, as Gara explained, he doesn't trust anybody, and for she... his own personal background reasons, which she look... can be worked yeah. on later. She looks over at Gara and she's like, 
and I totally understand. Like, mm. he just nods. Ariza, why does it? Why is it surprising to you that nobody mistrusts you? You're our leader. We look to you for guidance. Hell, you're. While you goals and whispers names are on the deed, you were appointed the decision, the final decision making leader. You are the de facto leader of this organization. Your word is law and final, and it is because you are the most trusted. Physical injury and physical betrayal can be fixed. It's the emotional betrayal that takes work. Whisper, what about you? Are you surprised that nobody mistrusts you? No. Okay. Yes, if they're able to at least accept my past, give mm -hmm. me a second chance. No, I'll be honest with you, Whisper. I was tempted to write your name down. My impression of Fletcher was not great. I understand that. Seeing where you and Racket came from, and seeing that despite him having at one point referred to you as brother, he was still son. willing to blame, or son, he was still willing to blame everything on you. And that's not fair. And I think everybody here understands that very well. You know, you may be from the flock, which I personally think is still a cult of assassins. It's not. But they're an information gathering network, so they claim. Um, yes. You've been very forthcoming with the information that you do collect. You've proven time and time again that we can count on your eyes, we can count on you to go off by yourself. And that's why most of us don't really stick with you in combat. It's not because we dislike you. It's because we know that you thrive better when you are alone. You are a solitary force and are arguably one of the strongest of us here. That's the guy who can make fireballs. I appreciate the compliment. Uh, Ariza, you are a good leader. And you do more than enough. Your inadequacy issues that you're having is just that, an inadequacy issue. A lot of the people here are self-sufficient. We understand that we can operate functionally as a group in combat, and we understand, I mean, we're, we're all part of this guild because we're accomplished to some degree of adventure. It's, it's not necessarily second hat to some of us, me and Monera, especially. Um, you know, I, I'm an entertainer. She's an entertainer. We don't exactly go around entertaining ogres and monsters to keep them from eating us. We have to fight. No amount of better leadership will cause mistrust. And right now, under what was a joke is now serious, you appointed me as Group HR. And I'm doing my job. We're building trust today. Whether it looks like it or not. I'd like everybody to know that the reason for the anonymity... Anom anonymity? What's the word? Anonymity? I don't know. Uh, the reason well, why I had you all put your hat... That word. <laughs> the reason for that <laughs> is because it gives you all the sense of being able to speak your mind without being afraid of the results. <coughs> oh, and help my spit. <clears throat> what that, Jacob? The reason I revealed it 
about why everybody mistrusts two isn't so that everybody can shoot daggers at each other from across the room. It isn't to cause discourse. It's to clear the air. And it's to talk about the issues and to maybe negate some of them. You know, I didn't do such a great job with manure and goals. I apologize. Um, And we'll go ahead back to that. Um, Still not fully over it. But it's understood why people, why someone doesn't trust you. This is, this is a beginning for all of us. From this point forward, what I'd like everybody do, to do is we're going to cook something together. Uh. Everybody, I'd like you to write down your favorite dish and how to make it. Like, uh, you know, Manura and, and Cambry go to writing, but 293 just kind of, like, freezes. It's just like, uh, uh. <laughs> 293, I understand that you can't eat. I... You will be cooking Galra's favorite meal. Mm. And Galra, you will not be cooking anyone's meal. Mm. Actually, no. Galra, you are going to cook somebody's meal. Whisper! You will not be cooking. Ha, oh, there it is. Nice. <laughs> He floofs, but it's not like sort of like embarrassment, but more like it is because you are already our registered cook, and you cook for everyone every morning. And it uh, this... it would be an unfair advantage to you. Mm-hmm. And I it's think... like fair. Arise and Cambry will also not be cooking anything because no one mistrusts you. All right. But you also don't have to write down your favorite meals. Hmm. It's really and truly just Galra, Manura, Goals, and I. And Tarragon. To, uh, yeah, and Tarragon need to, uh, need to cook and have our favorite dishes cooked. Mm-hmm. Right, it's like well, if everybody could please make a cooking check. Mm. Oh. Oh, that's a wisdom. Oh. 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 I'm just going to put what Galra's favorite is in the chat. Yeah, you're, you're going to be cooking. Yeah. Um, oh, what's your wisdom? That's wrong. Wrong character. Okay. And... We have good wisdom. Okay. So the plus one is Minera and the plus fucking zero is... Oh, okay. Galra, isn't your favorite thing chicky tenders? Yeah, with sweet potato fries. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Do we add anything to this? M- Manura actually got a wisdom. Uh, Tarragon, Tarragon roll a uh, flat wisdom check. Okay. And Tarragon got it. And goals, did you roll? Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> Okay. Um, wow, I'm surprised 293 got a 13. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So, that's how everybody's meals came out. Mm-hmm. Um, as a sign of trust, everybody has to eat that meal. Not the meal that you cooked, but somebody else's meal. Yeah. So everybody go eat your favorite meal. 293 just kind of puts his hands together, like, in front of his mouth plate, just, like, anticipating. You can see his eyes are, like, glowing brighter as he's, like, wide-eyed, just like, oh, I hope I did okay. (laughs) 
I mean, he got a 13, so... Minura actually has some decent confidence uh, with the meal that she cooked for goals. Um... Yeah, my meal for um, my meal for Minura was not great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> goals um, meal for goals. Who are you cooking yeah, for? Tarragon or really Felix? refined, and I don't know what that is. <laughs> goals. Uh, who are you cooking for? Uh, for Le for Latreus. Oh, then Tarragon got a ten for for um uh I Power? guess oh we're kind of we needed an odd number we haven't even uh I mean we could just, we could just gone in a circle no because two ninety three doesn't in, oh. we... <laughs> rackets like yes. <laughs> Food. So I guess Tarragon made a meal for Racket, who eats it, and uh, it's just like he's just not bad. <laughs> See, nobody's meal was terrible. What this shows is that while we may not understand exactly what everybody likes, and while we may not know each other's different walks in life and different reasons, nothing is ever going to be presented as perfect. Nobody will ever be fully trusted. Nobody will ever be absolutely free of mistrust. But the meals we had were enjoyable enough. And attempts are being made. And that's progress. So that's going to be session for today. Um, <laughs> we will continue uh, session. Uh, another free day that we're all not working. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. And... But I'd like everybody to leave uh, this reflecting on trust. And... And to please avoid bitter emotions. But don't avoid each other. And um, the session comes to a close. You're all free to move about. And with that, and the fresh rest of the day, that is where we're going to end uh, our session for tonight.